Welcome back, people. We got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. We got some good news as well. We're back in business. We are back in business, people. You're going to see in a moment. So I've moved um, moved my mic around, which hopefully is going to give us that little bit better audio. I don't know what setting to put it on though, because it's the mic. I've got the mic a lot closer, but I've made a lot of changes. How's it going, Arrow? Good to see you again, man. Thanks for dropping by. I don't know what setting to have the mic on. I keep changing it until it sounds good. There we go. Okay. That sounds all right. All right. Yeah, we got some good news. We're back in business. I don't know, that sounds kind of funny. Alright, let's try that setting. Extremely hot here in the UK today. Oh, that one don't sound too bad. Yeah, that one sounds alright. We'll go with that. Alright. I guess we jump into it. I'm going to be fishing... Um, where am I going to be fishing? This setting's good. The one I've got now is good. Do I need to turn the mic up or down a little bit? You guys let me know. You guys can hear it better than me. Seems like it's a little bit loud for me. Let me know if I need to turn the mic up or down. tweeted everything out the one now sounds good thank you Tyler is it too loud or does it sound okay alright sounds fine sounds okay thank you guys appreciate you here we go, look at that! Yes! Oh, okay, hold on, my face cam's in a different... Why is that moved? I don't know. We finally got face cam back. So I ordered it yesterday, and it was meant to turn up yesterday. I didn't tell you guys. <laughs> yeah, it was meant to turn up, and... I don't know what was going on, but it was meant to turn up between 8pm and... What was it? Between 8 and 10pm, and for some reason, I don't know why, but... It just... Yeah, it just, I don't know, it didn't turn up, but early hours this morning, after me doing a lot of editing, I think I laid down about 5pm, this 5am this morning, so I was really, really tired, um, yeah, I think I fell asleep about 5.30 after doing edits, and then early hours this morning, about 7 o'clock, I think it was about 10 past 7, the delivery guy knocked to my door, and he, he kind of banged on the door kind of hard, so I got up really quick, you know, like in a rush and stuff, and, um, hold on, there we go, yeah, so I got up in a rush to, you know, I wondered what was going on, because I heard, heard a big bang on the door, and it was the delivery guy, I gotta admit, I wasn't in the best of moods, <laughs> I wasn't in the best of moods, I was kind of a little bit stressed, because I didn't have much sleep, and he was banging on my door like that, but, uh, he was like delivery and then when he when he passed me the parcel i was like yeah i know exactly what that is so hey we got the webcam back face cam so that is awesome and that um 
that was yeah that did help we had some donations from peter c so he helped towards the the webcam and dotsy as well my brother he helped as well which was good so yeah, we're back in business. Let's get into it. We're going to fish in Maku Lake, as you can tell, but we're not going to fish our normal spots. I'm going to show you another spot that I haven't done on a live stream before. So it's very busy in a random room. So because it's so busy, I'm going to go into a friend's only room. But then that way, if people want to join us, they can. Oh, i got to add game audio. Hold on. There we go. we got some game audio now. That's better. <laughs> I wish I had your money in the game. Get on the grind, man. Keep grinding it and eventually you will get there. Alright, so. We are... I'll show you on the map. Normally, we do fish up here on a live stream in Maku. And we've done a live stream up here. I'm pretty sure we have. I don't know about there, but I know we have here. I know we have here. And we have here. But over here at this location, I did this location on when we was doing the mission, the separate video that we made. This is a really good spot. Like, an insanely good spot. So, we can catch some small piranha here. Over here we can get some of the arapaima. But out here, we can get some, some silver and what was the other one? I forgot the name of the other one. Oh gosh. That's what happens with not much sleep. Uh, it was silver. And yeah, the prayer. So we can get that as unique here as well. So I plan on getting a bit of a bit of each. And we'll see. We'll see. So not that I really need the cash, if I'm honest. I probably don't really need the cash. But in some way I do. Because when those updates come out, I always try and show you guys as quick as I can. And them updates get very, very expensive. And obviously, I'm still, when I'm not streaming, I'm still making content videos for this game. Which, again, costs me money all the time. So, even though we are just over a million, which is awesome, it's not really that much, if I'm honest. It doesn't, yeah, it's not that much because I keep on, obviously, making them, them content videos and, yeah. So, we're going to put out a few rods few bait rods. Oh, well. Alright. Looks like we're going to have a day of using the mouse again. And my left eye keeps twitching. It's been doing that the last couple of days. I don't, I don't know if that's because too much screen time. It poss Possibly that could be too much screen time. And I got an advert. I hate those adverts. Drive me bonkers. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to use the mouse today. I was having that problem yesterday by using the controller. I don't know what's going on with it, but it was really it was really funny. Can you hear the game audio? Can you hear that bite alarm going? want to know if you guys can oh okay you can yeah I heard it that's all right that's good I and mean, it sounds like we don't have any echo we have no echo and we finally got our face cam back so that is that is perfect so I'm using shiners as well just because they're the cheaper bait so we probably are going to co come across a lot of those smaller fish as well so that's all right I don't mind. As long as we keep catching, it's worth it. Yeah, so before I'd normally have the mic uh, above, above my monitor coming over on the arm and pointing down onto the, onto the webcam. Whereas if now I've got it, I got it right in front of me. It's literally sitting right un under my nose. So just to try and get that little bit better audio. Okay, the swim bait. I've used the five works awesome. I haven't tried a six at this location, so I'm gonna try the six. 
and we're just going to cast out here. The FPS around here is a little bit, is a little bit cranky. I got to admit, I don't know why that is, but it is. I was planning today on fishing with my dad, but I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's busy. I d oh well, we missed that. Yeah, I did. I did ring him, but he didn't answer. Yeah, I finally got the face cam. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome, huh? It was meant to turn up yesterday. It was meant to turn up yesterday, but for some reason it didn't. It said that it was going to be here between like 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. last night. And I fell asleep about 5.30 this morning at 7 o'clock. Someone was banging on my door. Turned out to be my webcam. i got to admit, I weren't in the best of moods when I opened it. I opened up the door and I just looked at him like, like with a bit of anger. That was only because I didn't have much sleep, and he banged on the door so loud. I don't know, you know, he could have been, he could have been knocking on the door for a little while though. But uh, yeah, oh, that was good. I was up really late editing videos. I shouldn't have stayed up as late as I did, but I did. <clears throat> now I know the five works good, but. We've had a little bit of interest with this six, but I'm interested to find out if I can get anything with this one. If not, I'll change back to the other one. And as I mentioned, we are in Maku Lake, but this place we haven't we haven't ever fished here on a live stream, so. I want to show you guys a little bit of real time what this place is like here. Good piranha. So we can we can definitely catch some arapaima here, but if I'm honest, it is a little bit slower. It is a little bit slower than the other pl place that we are but that we would normally stream. It is a bit slower, but. There's a lot more different fish here that we can get compared to the other to the other place. We're going to be getting that as unique. I'm going to get that on the spinner. That is my plan. Mm. I'm hoping I'm hoping it ain't going to be too much of a slow pace, but in, a, in some sort of way, I don't mind because my main plan is to, to catch more with the spinning rod today, if I can. I'm going to put on the five. I know the five works. The six, we've had, a, we've had one hit on it, but we, it didn't actually take it. So I think maybe the six could be a slightly little bit too big. So because of that, I'm going to use the five again. I've been drinking. I'm drinking my coffee. This is like my third cup of coffee, just to try, try wake me up a little bit. There we go. Look at that. The five is the one. First cast. I feel. I feel. Even though I'm really tired, I definitely feel a lot better now. We got the face cam though. Oh. We're getting close to unique. That was close. Look at the size of them teeth. Does he hold it up or does he sit down with it? Okay. He always say he, she. <laughs> there we go. So as unique, I'm pretty sure they should sit down with that. How's it, go how's it going, Trent? I don't think I've ever seen you before, man. So welcome to the channel. I really can't speak English today. I really can't. Not at all. That's what happens on one and a half hours sleep after sit sitting at your desk editing for about twelve hours. We got some interest over there. Oh, there we go. I don't think this is a big one, but. Still a fish. Mm. 
piranha. We can get a lot of tr uh, unique piranha here as well. Good, good spot for unique. Oh, we got the game glitch. Oh, there we go. It come back. This one don't seem like a bad size. I'm not sure what what it is. Probably the pay fish again. Yeah, it is. Good thing is though, because they're not very big. They don't give a they don't give a, a pretty bad. Yeah, I guess like the XP is not brilliant, but the the cash is pretty good. I really can't talk. I really can't. <laughs> Oh well, this is going to be a funny stream. <sighs> but because I got such a big net, I'm going to be able to fit an insane amount of those into my into my net. Which by the end of today, I probably am going to end up with more cash in my net compared to what I normally would just by catching Arapaima. I reckon I could. I reckon I could get a serious amount. got to wait for it to sink a little bit. It's really deep around here. <clears throat> I think stop and go works best as well. Just checking on something real quick. They get a chance to. <clears throat> oh, my. oh, oh gosh! Well, wow. we had a hit there. I went to speed reel it. As we were. I think I might have to cast a little bit further out for those Arapaima. Like way out there. Over to the to the right. I'm gonna do that with one of the rods. Because these two the one with the minnows are not really doing that much are there. And I can definitely catch them there because I've got a marker there for it. But I know I'm pretty sure it was out there. Out that way, I can I can get some. So I'm gonna put this one right, right out there. I'm gonna literally full cast. There we go. Wow, that was a good cast. 200 foot. I'm pretty sure that's where I caught quite a lot. Now I know, obviously, there I got that marker, but out that way, I think near those lily pads there. It's been a short minute since I fished this place. Well, not this place, but this location. <clears throat> I think top water stuff would be pretty good as well. I could always try that as well. I really want to really want to catch a big fish using the hash six hook, but it just won't work. I've tried so many times and it's just yeah, it's not working. The five is okay, but the six, I keep getting bites on it. Like all different places in this lake, I've tried it. I keep getting bites with it, but it's not really many actually hit it. And I think that's just because the hook is a little bit too big, but I know I can definitely catch Arapaima with it. So that's why I was trying to use the six to hopefully, with a bit of luck, try and get that big fish there. But yeah, didn't quite work. go with the popper in a moment. We'll see if that does anything. I'm 
pretty sure it was the swim bait that I used at this location that worked better though. I'm sure it was. That's proper deep there. Look at that. I'm continuously reeling. And that was just dropping. It's like a little dip there. There's definitely a dip, like like a deep bit there. Let me have a look on the map. Oh, it doesn't show there is. Oh no, there is kind of like there, yeah. That bit. Now let me try the popper. I know that the swim bait does work, but it seems like it's a little bit slow. I could probably use a hunch runner as well. That might be good. Let me try the hunch runner first, actually. Let me go with the hunch runner. We'll try that. I'm pretty sure uh, it was either the tiger one, tiger swim bait, or it was this hunch runner. One of them here were like gold. It worked so, so good. It was unbelievable. I know it was definitely yellow. <laughs> I know that much. And the main thing that I use that is yellow is this hunch runner and that swim bait. So it was either this one or the swim bait. It was one of them that worked good. Them bait rods are a little bit slow going though. But that's okay. It means I get to mess around with this. Cast that 167 foot, that's not bad. I know the stream is a little bit earlier today, well, a lot earlier today compared to what we normally do, but I got a little bit, um, we got a little bit of things to do, so I'm a little bit busy after a little bit busy after the stream. I got some stuff I gotta do. I'm still gonna be posting out a video today, so don't worry about that. But, yeah, I've got some stuff to do, so and I wanted to get the stream done a little bit earlier. So that way I can concentrate on the other stuff. The YouTube grind is real. It really is. <clears throat> Not much sleep. Three cups of coffee. And it still feels like I'm a, I, I, I don't know. It just, I feel like a zombie if I'm honest. That is probably, <laughs> that is probably why my eye keeps twitching. Too much of the screen time. My left eye keeps, keeps like, I don't know. It's watering. And it keeps like, it just keeps, feels like it's going like that. Uh, it's not too bad if I, if I keep my finger on it and I keep my eye closed <laughs> but <laughs> I can't do that for the whole stream alright well we've had no takers with a hunch runner so maybe it wasn't that well this sucks All right, we're going to go with the popper then. This spot before when I've done spinning was absolutely brilliant. I don't know what's going on now. Right, let's go with the popper. Let's try that. I even made a video on this place showing that it was a hot spot because I literally I caught so fast. I caught so quick and now I don't know what's going on with it now but nothing is happening if it carries on like this I am going to move location though that's for sure I do like messing around with the spin rod I definitely do but if it's, if it's going this slow it's not fun
thought. No, okay, maybe not. Oh, yeah, okay, there was. I was gonna say, I'm sure I saw something run up on it. Well, I didn't take it, but we had some interest, so that's something. Could be because the hook is a 7. The pop of 5 might be a little bit better. Let me go like that, so I'm zoomed in a little bit more. Okay, maybe not. Now, that's the one that I cast 200 foot right out there. Okay, well, that's definitely not Arapaima, that's for sure. I thought if I cast really far out, I'm pretty sure it was out there. I really can't remember. That's what happens when you fish a location and then you don't, you then don't fish that location for such a long time. Make makes it like a blur. Right. Well, there's the cat. I'm not going to be able to cast that 200 foot out there again because that weren't that great. So I'm just going to go straight forward there. If I caught that. Arapaima over there to the left. They've got to be near here. Right, let's zoom in so I can see if a fish runs up on it. <coughs> I got the fan on today as well. It's really. It's hot, but it's really humid. I, I can, the heat I'm not a big fan of, but when it's humid, I hate that. So hopefully the fan's not interfering into the mic too much because repositioning the mic. Well, we got some interest on that rod. Let me speed reel that. I think I need a five on there to be honest. I think the seven hook is a little bit too big. How's it going, man? Could you um, please keep it English only? Just because the channel is family friendly and I don't know if whatever you're saying is family friendly or not. Please keep it family friendly, man. Uh, please try to keep it English if you can. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's nothing, it's not, yeah, it's nothing against you. I just want to... It has to be English because if it's not English, I can't verify what you're saying, whether it's it, whether it's family friendly or or not. I don't know. How hot is it in England? It's really really hot today. I tell you. Hold on. Whew, too hot for me. It is. It's 28, 28 Celsius. But it's very humid. That's what. That's what I hate the most. Oh, I was meant to put on the five. I feel kind of bad sometimes when people come in and I say keep it English only, but I have no other choice. I can't verify what they're saying unless I use Google Translator, but I can't. I can't use Google Translator for every single person. I'll be using too much. Oh, you're Scottish, are you? That's nice, man. My uncle's Scottish. 22 in North Scotland. Nice. Well, at least it's a little bit cooler there <laughs> compared to, to where I'm at. I'm from Brighton and Hove, which is about, if you don't know where that is, it's around about an hourish away from London. Very surprised I haven't had any Arrow Primer take it though. I expected to catch at least at least one. I haven't even had one. I'm just gonna speed reel that. Put on the five. That's not that's not doing that much. Hmm. Oh, I could. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Let's stick with the swim bait. We caught on the swim bait, and the swim bait worked. So if it works, we shouldn't change it. <laughs> where you got up? Where you got on that grill? Some steak, T-bone steak. That's an awesome name, man. I like that name.
when I was younger, we used to, it used to be like every, near enough every weekend, we used to go to my uncle's, and he had like a, he built this, he built it out of like bricks and stuff, and he built it himself, like a barbecue, he built like a, I don't know how to explain it, it was like some, it, so I, it like bricks here, and then like the back part, and then he got some kind of metal, metal, oh well we had a prana there, he put some kind of metal thing on top, and then like this metal thing on the bottom so you could put the charcoal there, and yeah, it would, it, on that grill, because it was so big, the amount of food he could put on there and cook in one setting was unreal. So yeah, we used to we used to do that when I was a kid. We used to do that almost every weekend. Go there, all the family would come round. There'd be about sixty of us. Could have been more than that. Literally, there was loads. Brothers, sisters, uncles, aunties. Cousins, nephews, nieces. There'd be absolutely loads of us. And like, he had a very, very big backyard. Like, it was really, really big. And the, the whole thing was just packed out with people everywhere. It was really good. Alright, well, this is going to be my last cast here. And then after that, I'm going to move. This used to be a really good spot, and as, a, as I said, I did actually make a separate video of this. I don't know what, I'm not doing anything different, but it's just, it's really slow, I don't know why. Yee yee! How's it going, Jet? Good to see you again, man. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget, guys, drop a like on the stream if you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. I am going to move location. I am. I know we've got this fish on, but this is not what we like to see. We don't like to see the pace this slow. This is not what we're here for. That is so slow going. 7 o'clock and we got 46 pound in our net. That is probably the slowest I've ever caught in big in this place ever. That is insanely slow. But before I go back to our normal spot, I'm going to try somewhere else. I don't want to keep showing the same spot all the time. It makes no odds if I catch on these now. I'm moving. It makes no odds. Even if them two rods go off, I'm still going to move. <laughs> that has to happen because I said I'm going to move. It's like the game knows. The game definitely knows. And it's such a slow pace though. I don't know why it's that slow. It used to be much better than that. You're worn out. If you can, Jet, um, try use other words, man. Don't forget we are family friendly, man. You in peak time? And I never bother peak time. I just get set up and I start fishing, and it works. The only thing I ever bother with is sunny days. As long as it's a sunny day, I always catch really fast. That's it. I, I don't. I don't. No matter what lake I go in, I never bother with peak times. Okay, so there. What's that marker there? I think that's for cat. Okay. And then up here was where we caught the silver. Yeah. I guess we could go for the silver. I just want to do something different. So we're not doing the same thing all the time. Mm -hmm. 
that boat might be a little bit loud for you guys. It is extremely loud for me in my ears, believe me. I'm glad that I repositioned my mic though, because look at that, I've actually got a little bit of slack now. Whereas if before, it was kind of like stretching across, it was only just about long enough. You don't even hear it? Alright, well that's alright then. Was it here? I think it was. I don't remember seeing that little boat bit there though. Must have been here. Unless, oh no, it could have been over there actually, there. Let me have a look. Oh wow, that's so slow. Alright, let me move forward. <clears throat> I'm good, clicks. Good to see you, man. It wasn't there. No, it wasn't there. Why am I only seeing two likes? Come on, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. It's only a click. Make that turn blue. Make it turn blue. I'm good, Kuba. How are you, man? There we go. That's better. Thank you, guys. Alright. I'm going to mess around with the swim boat. See if we can try and get some of that silver. And... I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna leave the large minnows on there. I've never used large minnows from this location, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe we might get some interest. There is deep water here, though, so there is a possibility that they they could be in there. I really don't know. We're gonna try it. I want to kind of put it around like there-ish. If, if I was a fish, <laughs> that's where I would hide. When you come to the stream you always don't forget to like thank you man it just lets us know that you're still enjoying the game because you know me streaming it every day if I'm not you know if I don't see many likes on the stream I feel like that people I feel like people are getting bored of it every time I see people liking it, it makes me want to do it more it's so glitchy when I go like that and drop it. Oh wow, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. What is that? What is going on right now? I'm glitched. My game is glitched. Oh wow, are you kidding me? Why is that not disappearing? Come off my screen. I lost that fish as well. Oh, come on. you got to be joking right now. Why is it... What is going on? There we go. Wow. I don't know what was happening there. I don't know what was going on there. That was that was really bugged out. Yeah, that's always the way. Yeah, I. <laughs> it's like that every single time, T-Bone. You wait for ages, nothing happens. One rod goes, and then every single rod goes off. Yeah. I feel that. That happens every single time. Fishing is your favourite thing, thing to do. I really enjoy this game, man. <clears throat> Even though I've played it for nearly five years, I still really enjoy it. And I don't know how, but I always manage to think of some something different to do, you know? Like, to always keep different content. So I'm not always doing the same thing. I always, always think of something. So there we go. That's not bad. 
unique catfish. I don't mind if we're not catching those really big fish. Just as long as we are still catching. I'm interested to see if I can grab an arapaima from this location though. As again, Savage, good to see you again, man. Thanks for dropping by. Why did you put on lobster on your hook when it... Did I? Did I put lobster on it, did I? Was it this rod, was it? No. Oh, wow, I picked it up. Oh, yeah, I did. It was that one, freshwater prawns. I don't know why I put the, did that, man. I must have not seen it. Thanks for saying. This game is a little bit buggy today. I've got to admit. 12 watching, only 9 likes. <coughs> sometimes we have like 20, sometimes close to 30 people watching. And it won't be above 10 likes, man. Some people don't like hitting that like button. <laughs> it's like they're scared of it. Hmm, I don't think there is any Arapaima around here. I don't think there is. I do that every now and again. I just try and go to a different spot. And just to see, see if I can try and catch some of them other types of fish. But not just other fish, but to see if I can try and find another hot spot. Because there's so many places in this place where there's so many different lily pads and those lily pads are always a hot spot for fish let's cast that one there there we go must be kind of deep there because that took a short second to, to start sinking all right let me try this swim bait let's see if oh, okay It's not going to happen, is it? It does. I appreciate that, Nexus. But try and, try and only write English, man. Because I can't verify what you're saying. I'm not saying that you're, you're lying or anything, but... I can't verify what you're saying, so... Do only keep it English, man. Savage Films trying to give me a little bit of promotion. Hey guys, let's try getting 10 likes. <laughs> I am a little bit early. I know we're in about another hour's time. About an hour or so. We're, we will have more people in then and then. The likes will go up. I am definitely a lot earlier compared to the time we normally start so normally this is probably about the time that I would start streaming now so I was I'd say probably about an hour earlier than what I normally would be uh, yeah it is yeah 219 pound and a half yeah personal best since I've caught that I haven't actually tried to catch it again, so, and I haven't fished this lake since that, since I've caught that until now, until today. Oh, I had interest there, but I missed it. See, I could, I do like, I really do like fishing off the boat, but I just not so much when. Not so much when I'm live streaming, just because I've only got the one rod out, and, and I try and keep as keep it as constant as I can, and it's hard to do that with just one rod. But if if I only had, yeah, if I if I didn't mess around with the bait rods and I was only doing one rod, I probably would go to a lot of different other spots. <coughs> It is. Okay. 
They'll remove it. Yeah, only English, guys. Just because I can't verify what you're saying. And I don't have time to keep on doing Google Translation. Don't take it personal. I think I am going to have to go to our normal spot. This is just... I don't like slow fishing, man. <laughs> I don't like slow fishing. No, unfortunately not, man. Unfortunately not. I have... Like, you could send ideas and you can, you know... You can contact Fishing Planet with different ideas and try and, you know, help them change a few things in the game. But I've done that many, many times, but I never hear back from them. And as I've said, like, I don't really expect to hear back from them. Imagine how many people message them every single day. Like, not, not just with ideas, but people having glitching problems or people buying DLCs and them having problems like purchasing stuff that kind of thing I've had a lot of comments in the past saying I don't know why people ask me but they always say can you tell Fishing Planet that I brought a DLC and I haven't received the boat or can you tell Fishing Planet that I've got this problem or that problem and it makes no odds me telling them like it ain't gonna do anything for me telling them they have to tell them themselves Um, I have done, yeah, I have, but not with, not with this boat, with the, I've done an actual video of trolling on the, uh, on the dinghy, I got, I got, I got a video of that, trolling on the dinghy, that's pretty good on that, but it's kind of hard to, I don't know, when you troll on that boat, compared to the dinghy, it's very, very different, it's very, very different. So we got this the uh, unique silver there just to mention that I'm pretty sure you guys saw anyway but uh, they do yeah yeah they do but again there's not much point man I, I've sent them so many different ideas to add into the game like I, I don't even know how many times I've messaged them but they just never ever reply they never reply But as I said, like I, I do, I don't really expect them to, to be honest. They've got a lot of things to, to control. They got, you know, they got a control Xbox, can control PC, control PS4, control on Steam. It's not, you know. And obviously, they got game bugs and people have problems and stuff. So I kind of let them, you know. It'd be Fishing Planet. Just type in Fishing Planet. Okay, that's enough there. We don't like to see that slow pace. Nobody does. Yeah, see, when I troll off this one, you're on the front of the boat and it moves very, very slow. Whereas if, by me being on the dinghy, it definitely is like you can make the boat move faster the only problem between the dinghy and this is the dinghy once you get into trolling mode you can't then really uh, you can't really like steer left or right so that's the only problem but other than that other than that is pretty good oh look we have someone else here I didn't even know that Okay, we're gonna fish the other spot. Normally we do fish there, which I gotta admit that is probably that is probably my best spot. Not just because I caught that that biggest arapaima there, but also because I'm gonna go around. Also because it's just a really, I feel like it's a faster pace, the fastest place in the lake. 
But we'll try the other spot. change time as well now because we're like 10 past 8 as time has got as time does go by from early morning it definitely gets a little bit slower I'm pretty sure we could catch at a, at a pretty good pace but I don't know where my dad's at I was hoping to fish with my dad today but Can you stream the same time tomorrow, please? I've been streaming pretty much the same time all this week, almost. Yeah, pretty much all this week I've been streaming a little bit earlier than what I normally do. 11,000 cash for that. Now, yeah, let's jump forward until we get our sunny day back. There we go. I'm going to mess around with a swim bait still, though. See if I can hook anything on that swim bait. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. That would be good. I played another game like that once before. Where you, you can actually see that, where the fish takes it from underneath. Really good game, but the mechanics compared to this game is very, very different. That was, what was it called? Ultimate Fishing Simulator, that was called. And that was a pretty good game. The graphics on that game is pretty decent as well, if I'm honest. The graphics do look really, really good. Like and sub. <laughs> Everybody's trying to promote me today. If you want to promote me, retweet this. Retweet the stream. Share it on Instagram. Share it on Twitter. Share it with your mum, share it with your dad, share it with your dog, share it with your hamster. <laughs> Did that? I didn't hear about that, no. One thing that I think is slightly different, I definitely think it is slightly different, is I don't know why, but the last couple of times... The last couple of times I've been playing blue crab, fishing in blue crab, it's not been very good. I don't know if they did and if they nerfed it in some sort of way. I really don't know, but I used to catch there insanely fast and it was really good, but now I don't know what's going on with it. I might fish there tomorrow, possibly, but yeah, the last couple of times I've fished in blue crab the pace has been insanely slower so it makes me feel like they did a, a, a secret little nerf there and not told anybody that could just be me though that could yeah it could just be me but I've never had a problem catching any other time in blue crab but over the last couple of days it has been absolutely wet fish it's not been good have you stayed eight foot or less fish got spooked they claim they fixed it hmm I wonder if they did a nerf in in blue crab I wonder I wonder it doesn't seem like it's how it normally is in there it definitely feels like something's changed even when I was even when we went there the other day when I was doing that mission we was doing the mission there and even even catching really small fish it seems like it took a, a lot longer than what it normally does so I'm thinking they did something oh okay let me try this one 
Okay, that one's the same. They're both big fish. They're probably going to end up losing one of them. It's hard to choose which one's the better one. I think the other rod probably is. This one, I think this one's smaller. I don't know actually. It's got so much fight on that last little bit there. It kind of reeled easier than that last little bit. It's like sometimes when I'm fishing, it's like I'm actually attached to the end of a ship or something. I'm not even joking. <laughs> it's so hard to reel it in. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Fish Florida tomorrow. Every time someone tells me where to fish at a certain place and they fish with me, I end up doing that. And then when I go fish there, they don't turn up. I don't know if that's just me bad timing. Could be. Blue Crab and Michigan I've heard about. Hmm. Yeah, I was fishing in Michigan. The, the the cats seemed okay pace, but the pike seemed a little bit slow catching. We did catch a few uniques, but... Yeah. Almost impossible to fish for pike from the boat. It's kind of annoying when they do them little nerfs and they, they don't tell you about it. When they don't tell you about it, that's the worst. I hate it when they do that. They change things in the game and they don't tell you. Until one day you're fishing there. I'm so glad that stopped. It was so loud in my ear. Yeah, until one day you're fishing there, and then you realize, okay, well, this definitely weren't as good as what it was. I loved Blue Crab. Blue Crab was the best place, but as I said, for the last the last two times I've fished there, it's been it's been very very different. It's been very different, and that's such a shame because I would I would love to fish in that place a lot more than anywhere else, and it's such a big place to fish as well. So because it's so big, it means that you got lots of different places you can fish. So it does suck a little bit that it's uh, it's changed. Oh, as I say, I am definitely going to go back to Blue Crab and I am going to try again. I could have just had a, had a bad day. Sometimes that does happen when you're, you know, obviously it happens in real life, but it does <coughs> it does do that sometimes on this game in real life. Obviously, they try and make it like real life. Sometimes that does happen where fishermen just have bad days. So it could have been that it could have been the case. I did change. I did change a few days as well when I was on there. I was fishing. I don't know. I think about 12, 13 days I fished, and I kept changing days to see if I was just having a few bad days because that does happen. If it in every lake that does happen, but yeah, I had no luck at all. I don't know what was going on with that. The only one good thing about fishing this place, well actually there's probably two good things about fishing this place. No, okay, three. <laughs> wow, I, I make up my mind. Yeah, there's three good things. One, I could end up getting my personal best record again. I could end up catching a bigger fish than what I've caught before. That's one good thing. The second good thing is, you guys, a lot of people, because this is obviously the, the last newest newest update that come out people always want to see me fish in this place and the third best thing is that this place does make me insanely rich but I would still prefer to fish blue crab as I really would 63 pound I, I, that fight was a little bit ridiculous 
Oh, it's so loud when them rods go off. Absolutely clears my ears out, I must say. Yeah. I do like this place. It is nice. Like the, the main the main thing that is nice is like the the scenery of it. It definitely does look a lot different to every other lake. It really does, but I don't know. There's something about catching tarpon that I like. And it's probably it is probably because I can reel it in a lot quicker than what I can the Arapaima. The arrow primer takes a short minute to reel it in. If they made a stronger bait rod, I think I would then. I, w I would definitely then. I, w I would like it more. If they made a stronger bait rod, so I'm able to reel the fish in that little bit quicker. So they've got a really good, good reel. But I can't use the reel that you get on the spin rod. The reel that I got on here. Like, what's it called? Okay, that, that reel there. Silver Star 7500 SC. That reel is insanely strong. I'm going to put three rods out so I can try and mess around with this spinner. Yeah, that reel is so, so strong. That when I put it on the, when I put it on the heavy chaser... If I try maxing it out, it actually it actually puts damage to the rod on the heavy chaser. That's how powerful that reel is. So because that's so powerful, I think they should I think they should definitely make a bait rod that's a little bit more that has a little bit more backbone. How's it going, Paul? Thanks for coming to join us again, man. Is there? Yeah, I'm, I finally managed to get the face cam. I ordered it yesterday, and it was meant to turn up yesterday between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. and it didn't. I fell asleep at 5:30 this morning, and at 7 o'clock there was someone banging on my door. <laughs> Turned out it was my my face cam. So yeah, we got the face cam back at lo at last. I was going to get a face cam again, but it probably won't... Oh, well, they're going to be so loud. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, I was going to get a face cam no matter what after breaking my one. I wanted to get one again, but I was a little bit short on the cash. And I was going to have to wait till the end of this month to get one. But we had two donations from Peter C. And we had a donation from my brother. And then I lent some cash and I managed to get the, the face cam, so I'm in a little bit of debt. Not much. I mean like forty pound debt. That's not it's not much. It's not a big deal. But at least I don't have to wait till the end of the month for the face cam. It really did bother me big time not having it. Just because anyone who's who's new who comes into the stream. Like it's okay for some of you guys that obviously have already seen what I look like, but for people who are new that come into the stream, everybody always likes to see what people look like behind the mic. I, d I feel like it definitely does help for, for views and for people to subscribe. And not just for that, but for people to obviously keep watching as well. I forgot to bring a drink with me. Who goes fishing without bringing a drink? That's silly. That's silly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a drink in a minute. Um, I am in Maku. I'm in Maku Lake. Oh, he's typing there. I didn't even realise. What? I couldn't do it. What couldn't he do? What did I miss? I don't know. Oh, the face cam. Okay, you couldn't you couldn't do it having a face cam. 
it don't bother me, man. It really makes no difference to me. Like if, I, if I'm using it, I'm using it. If I'm not, I'm not. I'm still going to be playing my game. It makes no difference. Like I've, I've had some people say, oh, because, because you've got face cam, I know what you look like now. So if I see you in real life, you need to be careful. Man, comments like that make me laugh. They really do. They have no idea. They have no idea. Mm. Okay, give me one sec. I, I'm, I'm going to have to answer that. It's an important call, right? Sorry about that. That was my auntie calling. It's my mum's birthday today, so she was just ringing to see if I was all right. Did that rod go off? I we'll have some interest. I'm sure it did. It might have. It, it might have went. There we go. <laughs> nice. Happy birthday to your mum from Clicks. Now, I know what you guys are thinking right now. I know what you guys are thinking. Some of you are thinking it's your mum's birthday and you're sitting there streaming and you're not playing with your mum. You're not playing with your mum? Oh, wow. That, that's a... Uh, no, no one heard that. You're not seeing your mum or, you know, doing anything for your mum's birthday. Now, I know you guys are thinking it. It's your mum's birthday and you're not... You're not with your mum. Well, my, my mum's passed away, so that's why I'm not. But it is a, it's still her birthday, though. Even though she's not here. It is still her birthday. I might, just so that way me and this guy is not too crowded up here, and in case somebody else joins, I might head over to the other spot. Because the other spot's a little bit bigger. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not a bad son, okay? I'm not a bad son. I'm not. I got some flowers, I took some flowers to the grave, tidied the grave up a little bit. Like, what else am I supposed to do? There's nothing else I can do, man. No oh, shoot, sorry man, I'm sorry to hear that, man. It was, uh, it's been a while now since she's gone. She passed, um, she passed away 10 years this year. So yeah, she's she's been gone a little while. But just because she's been gone for 10 years don't mean I don't think about her still. Don't mean that I don't want to go to her grave and and um, sit there, have a little little think about things and stuff, you know. I think I hit the anchor there. 
Is it gonna? Wow, the amount of times I kept pressing to jump up there, it would not get on the front of that boat. It really didn't want to. Let me see. My music stopped. I will fix the music. Don't worry. How's it going, Dragon? Good to see you, man. Thanks for dropping by again. There we go. The likes have gone up a bit more. Thank you, guys. I appreciate everybody who's hit that button. Okay. My music's coming back, I think. There we go. I might put three rods out rather than always putting four. Just because I want to try and mess around with the swim bait a little bit more. No, not following you, we have the same rotation. <laughs> not following you, we have the same rotation. That's awesome, I like that. That made me laugh. Yeah, I'm on PC today, yeah. Okay, so normally, when I use a swim bait, I always cast it over this way, but I might try... Oh, wow. Okay, maybe not. Oh, why do my frames always drop when I look over that way? There you go. My FPS is okay like that. But as soon as I go... I don't know why it drops so much when I, when I look that way. The game really does not like it. <clears throat> Someone's watching us live on Steam as well. If you're what actually they can't even hear anyway. I was gonna say if you're watching on Steam, come and watch on on YouTube. But I don't have the mic on for Steam. I just let people spectate. I leave it as an open broadcast. I am gonna need to grab a drink. I talk too much, and it makes me need a drink. All right, Pulse, no worries, man. Some of you guys, how do you get your name? How do you think of your name for YouTube? It's kind of unique. Some of, you, some of you have really awesome names. If you guys have got any ideas, because I keep on thinking, instead of keep me saying you guys, you guys, or me keep saying chat, I need to think of something to call you guys. There you go, I said guys again. <laughs> I need to think of something. And I can't, I don't know. Like, I keep thinking maybe something like the Bubbles team, but that don't really sound that great. Um, the Bubbles house, that don't sound very good. Like, I need to think of something. If you guys got any suggestions, let me know. I need to think of something rather than keep saying you guys or or chat. Yeah, if you guys <laughs> if you guys have got any ideas, let me know what I could call you guys. Team Bubbles, that's not too bad, I guess. That sounds a bit better. Team Bubbles, yeah, possibly. can sit on the side of the bass boat now. <laughs> yeah, this is the spot where I caught the 219 pounds, yeah. You never know. Through this stream, I could end up beating my personal best. If I ever do beat my personal best while I was being alive, I will be clipping it and making a separate video of that. Just to mention. Just in case there's anybody who did, who, who did miss the live stream. And people always want to see that really big fish.
Yeah, I can't. That's why. That's why I said if anybody's got any ideas, I really can't think. But Team Bubbles don't sound too bad, I guess. That's better than that's better than what I've come up with. That's better than what I've come up with. If I can't think of anything else, that was pretty good, T Bone. See, I, I thought that he would come up with something pretty smart because of his name, T Bone Steak. The bubble gums. <laughs> I said it, but you said it. You said it better. I said it the other way. You said Team Bubbles. I said Bubbles Team. So it sounds it sounds a bit better the way you put it. The bubble gums. I do like that though. That was pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like that. So I can say thanks for being a part of the bubble gums. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe that one. The bubblers. You guys, I don't know where you get your ideas from, but they are good. I, I think the reason why I can't ever think of anything is because my brain's always... Yeah, it's always too busy trying to think of other things, trying to think in the, trying to think of different content all the time. For me to try and think of a name, like I'd rather spend that, my time thinking of different content. But the bubble gums or team bubbles, that's not too bad. I could go with maybe one of those two. I like that though, the bubble gums. That's pretty cool. My dog's stretching out in front of the fans. She's chilling. I will get a chance to use that spin rod soon. I definitely will. That's why I only put three rods out. And as time goes by, it does slow down a little bit for the Arapaima, so I will get a chance to use it in a moment. Bubbling squeak. That's the only one good thing as well about me moving the mic as well, closer to me. It's not just that my headphone wire doesn't have to stretch across, but like now, then the bite alarms are insanely loud in my ears, and I can just adjust the volume on, on my mic just by turning it, which is good. Doesn't take very long. Doesn't take very long. I mean, <laughs> that, oh well, okay. Remember, I've only had an hour and a half sleep. I can't even say that. I've only had an hour and a half sleep, so... My English is not going to be very good English today. Definitely not. T-Bone, I don't know where you get these ideas from, man. But you got some good ones, I give you that. Not A team, but B team. Oh no, not the ads. No, 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 no. Why do I keep getting ads all the time? That's another thing I need to do as well. I need to go through my music list and remove those with ads. Yeah, the B, okay, so Team Bubbles or B Team, or Team B, what, yeah, what about Team B, that's alright, the other way around. I should write these ideas down, I'm gonna in a moment, I'm gonna write them down. Because I always say guys, 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 you know. There is obviously going to be sometimes people that come in. And not everyone's a guy. So, um, so, Team B, that's not a bad idea. Team B. 
Bubbles team, that's that's alright as well. We'll write that one down. So then what was the other one? The bubble gums. I quite like that, it was kinda of funny. <laughs> I'm gonna write these ideas down so that way I can think of something to call you guys rather than always saying guys. I'm in your car park sorting out the van. You should be finished soon, shouldn't you, Dots? I really can't position that very well. Dots, drop me a retweet, man. You're the man with the followers. Drop me a retweet, please. He doesn't stream. But he has a lot of people following him on Twitter. So when he does a retweet, it does actually help. Everyone who, does, everyone who retweets, it helps. And again, it doesn't have to be on Twitter. It could be on any platform. T-Bone. You're awesome, man. you really got some good ideas. You really have. I like it, man. Thank you, Dots. Yeah, I'm just trying to get cash, yeah. I don't need XP at this point. Rank means nothing to me. Rank would be important to me if I only played on one platform, but because obviously I'm playing PC, I'm playing on console as well. Why not? The reason why I'm fishing here is because there's a chance. As well as it being good cash, good XP again, as I said, not interested in the XP, but there's a chance I could end up making that little bit more content. One, because everybody wants to see Maku Lake, but at the same time, I could end up catching my new personal best, which then I could break down and that could make another video. And I got another ad again. Oh my gosh. These ads. I'm definitely going through this tonight. I keep saying it, but I am going to now. It's like almost every song that I've got has an ad. That's so annoying. Same reason you're not in Cali, but for personal records, yeah. I like the look of these fish, these look really nice. I probably say that every time I catch it. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe instead of three rods, I put out two rods. I want to use that spinning rod more. Let's put out two. Even though with the spinning rod, I'm not going to catch that really big fish. Well, I guess I could. It would be a little bit harder. But, I like the idea of just... I like the idea of spinning. I like that in real life. It's nice when you can just do that, but then all of a sudden you get a hit. Yeah, that's awesome. In real life, when you when that happens and you get a hit, there's such a great buzz, like that. Yeah, that could be a good one. Nice pista. <laughs> Some people keep all that stuff, you know. I knew that was a good one. I could tell. Okay, so he shouldn't hold that. He should sit down with it. Or she. There we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. You really like fishing to have that. Uh, normally, I, I would have always put out two rods. One would be a bait rod. Well, 
I guess it kind of depends actually. It does depend a little bit. It depends whether... If I'm fishing in the night time, then I'll have two bait rods out. But if I'm fishing early morning, or in the afternoon, daytime kind of thing, then I'd have one bait rod and the other one would be, be spinning. So it does kind of depend, depend on the time and yeah. I saw some guy the other day. Uh, so after this stream, I got another video that I'm going to be uploading, which was on the electric bike. I did some hill tests. There we go, nice. I did a hill test. I edited the video. It's ready to go. It's ready to be published. So yeah, I got that that video coming a little bit later after the stream. And after I finished making that video, I I just went for a ride just randomly. I thought I'd go down to the beach, ride along the beach. And I come across this guy. And I asked him if he caught anything. And he said that he didn't have much interest, there weren't much happening. And I felt I felt so bad because I really wanted to help the guy but I couldn't. So he said that he was 57 years old and he borrowed his granddaughter's electric scooter to go fishing. And he, he I don't know where he's, he come from somewhere, I think he was about four miles away from home. Three, four miles, so not insanely far but for a 57 year old man with a scooter with a flat battery to be that far away from home is quite far. And um, he said he had no cash on him. He said if I could give him his bus fare to get home, that he'd give me £20 back. And I think the bus fare, he said, I think he said £3. I don't even know. I haven't got on a bus for years. But I think he said about £3 it costs for, to get on the bus. And he said to me, if I could do that, he'd give me £20. He'd give me his phone number. He'd give me his address. So he, you know, so he don't have to push this scooter all the way home. And I said to him, I don't carry cash on me. And he was like, okay, is there any chance you could go to the cash point and maybe take five pound? That's how I don't carry my bank card on me either, not when I'm riding. And the reason why I don't is just because there's not a need. When I go for a, a long ride, you know, I've got water in my backpack. You're back, welcome back, Pulse. I have water in my backpack. Uh, I carry a couple of snacks, normally like things like nuts and that kind of thing. And I always carry spare inner tubes, tire folded up, pump, spare repairs that I need, spanners, that kind of stuff. I don't really, I, there's no need for me to carry my bank card. There's no need for me to carry cash in any sort of way. So yeah, he was kind of far away from home. And I, he said to me, what about you go to your house and see if you can get some cash and then come back. Which I would have loved to have done that. But I was about eight miles away from my house. By the time I traveled back home, my battery would have been dead. And I already went on a like a 20 mile ride. I just didn't have the energy to go back home, get some cash, and then travel another... Well, travel eight miles home, travel eight miles back to him to give him three pound, and then travel another eight miles to go back home again on a flat battery. It wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded pedaling, but I already, I already did like 20 miles. By the time I got home, it would have been like close to 30 miles that I've already been. Yeah, I just didn't have the energy, but I felt so bad. I really wanted to help the guy. I really wanted to help him. He said that he asked a few other people that went by. And they said the same thing, they didn't have any cash on them. You know, he was an old guy and I ain't never going to forget that in my life. I ain't never going to forget that. I felt so bad that I couldn't help him. For the fact that he was kind of old and I left him there. I even, I even rang my dad and told my dad that story as well. <laughs> I rang him and I said I felt so bad. He said, well, you know... It's not really your fault, it's, you know, it's down to him, not down to you. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I could have helped the guy and I couldn't. If I weren't so far away from home and I didn't have to travel so far, and I didn't, well, if anything, if I didn't travel that 20 miles before, I would have definitely done it. 
I definitely would have done. But I come back home, and I was just sitting there. I was just, I kept thinking to myself, "Shall I go back and help him? Shall I go back?" I just really, I was just so drained. I was so drained. I really wish I could have done. That might make me sound kind of bad that I didn't, but I would have done if I didn't travel 20 miles before that, honestly. Like, he didn't have insanely far to go to get back home. He told me whereabouts he lived, and where he was fishing to getting back home is not that far, but for an older guy, it probably is. And for someone pushing a scooter with a dead battery, I can imagine that's not going to be great fun. And that scooter was kind of heavy as well. It wasn't like one of the popular, it wasn't one of the popular scooters. It was like an old electric scooter, so it was, it had weight to it. I really wish I could have helped him. Don't feel bad? I do, man. I really wish I could, because the way I look at stuff like that, you know, that could have been my dad. That could have been my dad who was stuck there. And, and that was someone else's dad. I really wish I could have helped him. But anyway, that's that story. I feel like the next time I go out, <laughs> next time I go on a ride, I'm always going to carry three pounds. I'm always going to carry three pounds, so if that ever happens to anyone else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> carry a mini battery jumper. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably rather carry the three pound. It's a lot lighter than carrying a spare battery pack thing. Yeah, next time. Next time I go on my, my travels, I'm going to make sure I carry three pound. So if I ever see anybody else stranded and they need to get home, I can help them. Like three pounds, not a big deal. It's not, it's not gonna make, it's not gonna make me, you know, make me bankrupt. And in the process, I managed to help someone who who really needs that. There we go. I get so many hits with this swim bait with the hash five. It's insane the amount of times I get hits on that. If I didn't keep messing around with the bait rods, I definitely could fill up my net just using the swim bait. I, re I really think I could. <laughs> yeah, it is a lesson learned from him. I did say to him though, because he said that he was thinking, because I said, he asked me what, what my bike is like. He's never seen a bike like that. And I said to him, it's electric. And he said that he would like to get an electric bike or at least an electric scooter that could get him a little bit further. Considering his one that he had was his granddaughter's and it was old. So I said to him, check out the M365 Pro. I said to him, the battery life on that will get you close to 30 miles and he wasn't 30 miles away from home even if he traveled there and back that still wouldn't even cover 10 miles distance so the m365 pro scooter would have been perfect for him so i did write that down for him because he said he said there's no way i'm going to remember that i'm an old man and he, he had a pen so i wrote it down the name of the scooter he asked me where i brought it from and I said Halfords, which was funny enough, right near where he lived. Look at that, we get so many hits with this swim bait. So yeah, he, uh, he, I reared down for him. Hopefully he ends up getting one of those scooters. That swim bait looks awesome. All right, the five is absolutely insane how good it works. The six is slow going. But I got faith in it. I'm not going to give up on it. I feel like using that, I am eventually going to get a big fish on it. It might not be as effective as the five, but. The 
putting motors on bikes made to accept them or buy and find them like that well I have made electric bikes I've done that in the past but I I actually the bike that I've got at the minute the electric bike that I've got at the minute I brought it already as an electric bike and it is a really good bike you do obviously need to make a few a few little changes because it is a Chinese electric bike so the tires are not really made for UK roads and not really made for off-roading like how I, I, I use it but yeah if you you know if you buy a bike from a different country and yeah sometimes you do have to make a few changes just because obviously the weather is different where you are compared to there and the grounds are very different but the bike I got I brought it from China well I didn't buy it from China actually that's a lie it comes from China but I brought it from Poland and the tires are okay for road but there is no way I would have risked them tires on going off-road there they just wouldn't last so I changed the tires I've changed the inner tubes uh, what else did I do I put a rental bar on the handlebars to make the handlebars stronger I keep thinking about changing the handlebars because I don't feel too comfortable with them but for the fact I got the rental bar on there it does reinforce and make the handlebars stronger so not too bad and there's a nice unique cap there well done man uh, yeah I changed from mechanical pull brakes to the hydraulic pull brakes which that's the first time I've been ever in my life having having hydraulic pull brakes I've never had hydraulic pull brakes before the thing that made me think about getting them was that m my friend he's got he's got a normal bike not electric bike he's got a normal bike and he's got hydraulic pull brakes on there and they are absolutely uh, not hydraulic pull brakes he's just got normal hydraulic brakes and they worked really good and I could have brought hydraulic pull brakes for the electric bike but for me to do that they cost 90 pound and after spending 750 on the bike and buying all the extras I didn't really have the money to pay for that so I ended up buying hydraulic pull brakes which they cost 40 pound so a lot cheaper but it means I don't have the hassle of changing the oil and that kind of thing and it just means I unclamp my old disc brake the mechanical disc brake I unclamp that with my allen key put the new one on and that works awesome they are really good brakes and you need a good brake really good brakes on more for bikes that are heavy you definitely need that the mechanical pull brakes weren't they were okay but they're not very effective they take a long time for you to slow down especially when especially for me as well because you know I'm away away 16 stone and I'm six foot two so I'm kind of heavy myself plus the bike is 30 kilograms yeah that's a lot of weight so but a lot of weight equals more time to slow down more time to pick up speed as well but yeah some of them Chinese bikes are absolutely awesome you just need to make a few little changes make a few changes and they become amazing so I changed the brakes I changed the brake brake pads on the back as well I've done that recently uh, the brakes the pads I, with the suspension it, it was kind of funny it kept on making this horrible squeaking sound every time I go over a bump it makes this horrible like I don't know it don't sound good and I haven't changed that yet I'm kind of tempted to though if it carries on I definitely will and I changed the inner tube changed the tires changed the brakes um, I think that's pretty much it. I, haven't, I, I try not to change too much on it because then otherwise it's not going to be the same bike as when I brought it. 
but I ha had no choice to change the tyre. There we go, unique butterfly peacock best. Yeah, I had to change the tyre because the grounds are very different here compared to, to China, for sure. How do I zoom in? Maybe I am zoomed in as far as I can go. Hold on. No, it's not. Normally it lets you zoom in and zoom. Ah, oh, there you go. I was pressing the wrong button. I kept pressing R2, or in this case, on the Xbox controller. I don't even know what button that is, but yeah. So it's. What button is that? R, B, and L, B. Oh, look, it even says it there on the screen. Nobody saw that. <laughs> All right, anyway. That's on the that was on the six hook as well, so that was good. I have caught unique butterfly peacock on the hash five swim bait, but I wanted to use this six to see if we can try and pull something bigger. It's good that we can still get unique, but I'm looking for that bigger fish. We're getting more hits with it though, a lot more hits with it compared to the last time I used it. Last time I used it, it weren't it weren't that good. It did work, but not very not very good. Seems like I'm pulling in fish a little bit quicker now with it. I'm gonna need a jump to the next day soon. We got 875 in our net. Oh no, you know what? Yesterday we brought that backpack, didn't we? Arrow told us to go to Weeping Willow, and you can buy that backpack. The 200 bait coins, which is the the better the better pack rucksack that you can take fishing with you, so you can carry more stuff. I brought it. I didn't even equip it. Oh well. Wow. And I said I was going to equip it at the end of the stream, and I, I still didn't do that either. I still forgot again. Oh well. Wow. I've got to remember to take that. I try and do it for the end of this stream. Hopefully, I don't forget again. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we we'll equip it. I brought it. I haven't even used it. All right, we'll have one more fish on this spin rod. Then I am gonna have to change to the next day. We got 9:27 in our net, so if we get one big fish, yeah, I might not even be able to keep it. Let me get snagged. Oh, you're still here in chat. You're just just sitting there watching, I guess. Some people don't like to. Some people don't like to chat. Some people like to just watch. Which I respect that. If you don't want to ever put any comments, that's fine. I still appreciate you guys sitting here watching at least. All right, we're gonna have to move to the next day after this fish. I don't want to end up straining my net, putting too much damage on it. But we earned some good money for that day though. Let me just check the durability of my net. Oh, okay, that's good. Alright, next day, let's see how much we got. 60,000, that's not too bad. 60,000 cash. Again, the XP is not really important to me. The XP means nothing. When you get to level 60, that is max level. Makes no, no difference. But it means that we've got cash for the new updates when the, those new updates come out. It means that we get to show all new rods, new reels, all new stuff. I can't, I'm really looking forward to a new update. I'm surprised. They said it was coming soon, but it said it for a little while. Where was it? The There you go. The, the glasses. Look, it still says it. Polarized glasses coming soon. Coming. Yeah, you keep saying it's coming. Come on, fishing planet. Hurry up and bring us that. I want. I want some glasses. I don't know why I want them, but I want them. <laughs> Just because it says they're there, I want it. A lot of people keep saying about there is. Again, I only say an update is coming when I hear that from a developer. But people, loads and loads of people across all the forums, that keep saying. 
there's going to be an update in August. <clears throat> so, possibly, we could have an update this month. But I'm not going to say there is. I'm only going to say possibly. Because so, people saying that, that's just, you know, it's just random people. That could be random people guessing. I only say there is when we get that information from a developer. But no developer has said anything about any update anytime soon. Which is a pain. Uh, I want them polarized glasses to hurry up and come. I definitely want to use those. Yeah, a lot of people do that, man. A lot of people do that. <laughs> they, they're fishing themselves and then they're watching me stream at the same time. My dad does that as well. My dad will come and fish with me in the same lake. And then whilst we're fishing, he'll be watching me on stream at the same time. <clears throat> I still need that drink. I'm losing my voice. Some more coffee would be good, but I've already had three cups already. So probably not a good idea for coffee. <clears throat> I'm trying a speed wheel. I know what's going to happen as soon as I get this fish in. The other rod's gonna be gonna stop. It's gonna time out. And it happens every time. I'm really trying. Come on, let me try walk back. Try and get it closer to the. Mm, it helped a bit. Oh, we almost got it. Come on. It seems a little bit bonkers that I walk around and do this, but it actually. There you go. Like I told you. What a wet fish game. It's so annoying when it does that. Nothing annoys me more. Nothing. <laughs> there is nothing that annoys me more than that on this game. I try and struggle and move around and try and reel it in as quick as I can. But then that happens. My eyes twitching again like crazy. I think it is too much screen time. It is too much screen time. It's got to be that. <clears throat> Over the last like three or four days, I've been looking at a screen for, for more than 12 hours. My eyes watering so bad. <clears throat> One could be good. <clears throat> uh, maybe not. It was too easy to reel in on that last little bit. <laughs> That's okay, Pete. As I said, I don't expect anybody to talk in chat. I, I, I just appreciate everyone still being here. And yeah, we got the face cam. Your donations, your two donations that you did, Peter, plus the donation from my brother. I, uh, I lent a bit of cash. And yeah, I managed, to, I managed to get it. I ordered it yesterday. And it was meant to turn up yesterday, but it said 8 to 10 p.m. And it didn't turn up. I fell asleep at 5.30 this morning. And at 7 o'clock, the uh, delivery guy was knocking on my door. Yeah, I'm really glad that I managed to get the face cam again. So thanks for, for your input, man. Because you put an input, made me get the, the face cam a lot quicker. So th thanks for the donations that you did, man. I really appreciate it.
when you stream with a face cam and then you go to not using one. I don't know. There's something about it that seems very different. It seems very strange. When I first used face cam for the very first time, it, I did feel kind of nervous. Just because I felt like that people would maybe like, I don't know, make fun of the way I look. Or, I've actually, I, I shouldn't say it really because, because <laughs> I'm probably going to jinx myself. But I've never once had anybody um, say anything about the way I look. But normally, that was what I was thinking that was going to be the normal thing that, I end up doing face cam and people say, oh, you look stupid or, you know, just basically take, just rip the way I look. And I've not had anybody do that. I probably am going to now, I've t now I've actually said it, but I really don't care. I was a little bit nervous at first, as I said, but now, now I'm using the face cam for so long, I don't care what people think. I care what my family think. I definitely care about that and I care about you guys as well you know the people that are here every day the people that come in always say hello or even if they're not saying hello people always coming here to watch they're the people that I care about I don't care about random people that come into the stream and try trolling and saying stupid wet fish stuff I don't care about them they mean nothing to me if they said that to me in real life it would be a very different situation can't really say too much on that because we are family friendly but you guys get the gist <laughs> I tried to reel that as quick as I could ah oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything stay calm bubbles stay relaxed I'm not gonna say anything You're busy fishing for sturgeon. Sturgeon are great to catch, man. I really like catching those. Oh, my eyes twitching so bad. Please stop, I. I'd rather put a patch on my eye. I feel like I should put a patch on my eye. It because it because it keeps like I don't know. It keeps like twitching, flickering. It's making me think that my screens my screens actually like flickering, and I know it's not. But it's like that. It's got to be too much screen time. It has to be that. We got 16 likes on this stream. So thanks everyone for showing your, showing your love for Fishing Planet still. I appreciate every one of you. It's nice that I can still play this game. Even though it's an old game and people love it. I just wish that I streamed... I wish I streamed this game when it first came out. I should have done so much, but... I just felt like that nobody would ever be interested in it. That's why I never did. Are those... Are those blue light... Blue light filtering glasses? What's blue light filtering glasses? What is that? I have no idea, man. Blue light filtering? I don't think I've ever heard of that. <laughs> I might sound kind of silly. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. Blue light filtering glasses. I don't know. I'm probably uh, people are probably sitting there laughing right now. The type of glasses that filter a certain way. No, no, they're not, man. I've heard it can help with eye strain issues. No, they're not. Like I don't have to. Like if I, if I'm riding around on, on my on a motorbike or. I'm riding around on my push bike. I don't necessarily have to have glasses, but I really, I, I, I still do wear them anyway. But I make sure, like, every now and again, sometimes I might play my game without them. But if I do that, 
It gives me really, really bad eye strain. Like, it gives me headaches. Makes my eyes hurt. And if, if I'm going out, as I said, I don't necessarily have to wear the glasses. It's, it's not too bad. But if I try gaming without glasses, I can't do it. It gives me so bad eye strain. Give me headaches. Sometimes can make me feel sick. Yeah. But I, I might look into that though. Blue, blue, what did you say they were called? Blue light filtering glasses. I might look into that. I might have a look. Let's check it out. Yeah, I would need prescription glasses, yeah. It's what happens when you get old, man, alright? Okay? It's because I'm old. We get it. We know. <laughs> yeah. When you get old, your eyesight does get... Not for everybody, but your eyesight does get a little worse. My eyesight definitely has over the years. I never used to wear glasses when I was younger. Never, ever. But my uh, my, my dad, he's, ha he's had glasses ever since he was a kid. My brother, he had glasses since he was a kid. He doesn't wear them anymore. He is supposed to, but he doesn't. He chooses not to. But I, I, I don't have a choice if I don't. It just makes me feel really sick and keep getting headaches, so... I don't really have a choice. I've got him. You're 35? Well, that's alright. I'm 33, so I'm, I'm, I'm a baby then. <laughs> I'm a baby. Well, at least we're going to pretend anyway. As you get older, you always want to get younger again. In some cases, I'd like to be younger, but in some ways, not. I like being an adult. It's fun. Well, I wouldn't say I'm an adult. Well, I am an adult, but I wouldn't say I always act like an adult. Definitely not. <laughs> I have my childish moments. And I think I probably act a little bit more childish because of my kids as well, you know. My kids like it when I mess around and act, act a little bit silly. Alright, we're still going to be fishing, guys, but I need a drink. I need a drink so bad. I've been streaming for two hours and I've only had coffee. Ugh, and how hot it is. I need... I need some of that H2O big time. So give me a sec. I'll be, shall I leave you on this screen or the Be Right Back screen? Um, I'll leave you on that screen. It's, it's alright, yeah. Okay, I'm going to quickly get a drink of some H2O and I'll be back.
changed my mind. <clears throat> I got some juice instead. I did drink a lot of water out in the kitchen though at the same time. <laughs> There we go. What did I miss? I didn't miss anything. That's good. I don't really like to try and lead the stream. But sometimes I gotta, you know. Especially when when you ain't have much sleep, your brain is out of gear, you always forget everything. And that's what I did this time. We set up the stream. I had the coffee, so that was good. I definitely needed that. I'm feeling like I need more. It's always like that, though. I get to the point where I get so tired. I feel like I need to sleep. And then I, I, I stay awake because I know I've got editing and I know I've got stuff to do. And then you stay awake and then you get past that point of being tired. I do all the editing and then I lay down to go to sleep and because I stayed past that point of being tired, that's it, I, I, I then can't sleep. Hard, hard world. <laughs> I feel like that happens to a lot of people though, not just me. When you're tired and you, you make yourself stay awake, you get over tired and then, yeah, that's it, you, can, you can't sleep. Sometimes I don't sleep at all. I've been like that since I was younger. Story of your life, you're like that as well. I've been like that. I've even thought about it sometimes. I used to do it a lot, but I don't do it as much now. But I used to do it a lot where sometimes I couldn't sleep. I used to I used to start start a random stream like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, and stream until like eight a.m. <laughs> start start at like 2, 3, 3 a.m. in the morning until 8 a.m. and then finish finish the stream, do my editing for the day and then do my work because obviously I work from home and then start a stream again and then I'll be really tired I want to sleep I find, I, I like I, I've actually, I've only ever done it once where I got so tired I streamed and then I, and then I did my, my work then I did some editing and I actually fell asleep in my chair, my gaming chair. That don't happen often. If that ever happens, I know that I'm past exhausted. But I've done it before where I haven't been asleep for like three days, four days in a row. The longest was, I think, probably four, maybe five days I didn't sleep for. Day after day, no sleep at all. I've been like that forever. You kind of get used to it, but I don't know. It feels like you're. It feels like you're not. I don't know. It's hard to unless you go through it yourself. It's hard to explain it, but it feels like you're not kind of on the world. If that makes sense, I don't know. It feels weird, especially after the third day. After the three days of not sleeping. I don't know, it don't feel like you're here. It feels kind of strange, hard to explain it. I might go with the other swim boat. The five definitely gets that a lot more interest. <laughs> I've done that before. I've definitely done that. Stay awake for 36 hours, then sleep for 16. Yeah, I've done, I've done that. I do that. In fact, I probably do that quite a bit. I wouldn't say 16 hours though, but stay awake for like 36 hours plus, and then I'd I'd sleep for a good 10 hours, 12 hours. I have done that. But unfortunately, I can't do that very often. Oh, I was meant to change the swim bait. There we go. Yeah, because they got kids, I'm not able to do that. As much as 16 hours sleep after staying awake for 36 hours plus does sound good. When you got kids, you can't. You cannot. You cannot sleep. 
There's no way. Even even if I didn't do YouTube, having kids, you cannot sleep for for 12, 16 hours. There's just no way. It's not possible. That is definitely not possible. Even though it's kind of draining when your kid wakes you up at at like 5, 6 a.m. in the morning and they want to play it. And even though that is draining, it's kind of fun though. I like it. I don't like to sleep for the daytime either. That's one thing I don't do. That's Well, in fact, that's one thing I never ever do is sleep in the daytime. I hate sleeping in the daytime. I don't like it. My normal routine would be I fall asleep about around about 4 or 5 in the morning and then I'm normally awake around about 8 8 a.m. the latest so I normally I'm normally pretty good if I get like 4 hours sleep I'm pretty good normally in 4 hours that's normally how I how I run 4 hours 5 4 5 It, do, it does mess you up though, I notice. It definitely does, well, it might not for everybody, but for me, it affects my, my speech big time. My concentration is definitely, it definitely does lack a little bit in concentration, trying to concentrate on things. Not too bad for fishing because it's not, you know, obviously you do get that fast, fast pace, but if I was playing a car game or a shooting game, that's when I know, notice my sleep is bad there. Because you have to think fast continuously. Whereas if with this game it's so more chilled. You do have to think fast sometimes of course. But it is so, it's so more chilled. I'm looking forward to... I am still going to be live streaming Fishing Planet, Planet. So don't worry about it. But I am looking forward to the... I'm looking forward to getting the new Tony Hawks, just because I played that as a kid, and I'm kind of interested in how it's progressed over the years, over a long time, compared to how it was when I was a kid, the graphics to now. I'm looking forward to that. I do like to try and show other new content as well. As I said, I am still going to live stream fishing, I'm always going to live stream this game, and I'm always going to push out videos and show new content for this game but I'm looking forward to seeing some of those other new games that are coming out <clears throat> when it's like this we might as well move up here there we go and then you get it so much quicker that's a good one 158 pounds <clears throat> Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you do, man. It really does, yeah. It's it's surprising how much sleep can affect can affect you. It really can in so many different ways. As I say, for me, the biggest thing is speech. It affects my speech so bad. Lack, lack of sleep. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. It does affect concentration, definitely, but the speech is the biggest, the biggest, biggest thing for me. Yeah. <laughs> definitely caffeine for the win, for sure. The coffee is good because it helps me, it, de it definitely wakes me up and it gives me that little, that little bit of energy that I'm looking for. But unfortunately it don't help much with my speech, that's the only problem. Lots of strong, st <laughs> you're giving me ideas now. <laughs> strong sweet tea, you're giving me ideas. Like a lot of people do do um, like G Fuel 
and and Red Bull and energy drinks, Lucasades and that kind of thing. But I've never really been into that kind of stuff. Even when I was younger, like I, I wouldn't mind having a Lucasade possibly, like every now and again. But energy drinks have never really been my thing. But coffee, on the other hand, coffee's good. Probably not not ideal, but you do if you have to deal with company, company and people. Yeah. I like guess not very often I have to go into the office. I do have to every now and again, but most of it is all on. Oh, that's so loud. Yeah, I wouldn't say in like an energy drink though. But if I, if I've got to go into the office, then I definitely make sure I drink a good few cups of coffee before I do for sure. But it's not very often I have to do that. It's only like once a month. The good things about working from home is you can choose your own hours and you don't have to see people every day. What a wet fish that was. Yeah, so it is good, but the only thing is it does make you a little bit more lazy. It definitely does. Like sometimes I try and I try and find excuses on purpose to go out just to try and get that little bit more of e exercise in. Literally, I just find the most silliest excuse. Like, if I need to go to the shop instead of going to the one closer to me, I would go to a shop further away from me on purpose. You got people coming by co constantly. Living on the lake in the summer. That's nice, man. Not people coming by constantly. I mean, like, living by the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Alright, 6.42, we got 6.78 in the net, pretty good day. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, as I say, some, some people really need it. Especially a lot of the streamers as well, when they've got a, you know... I always just be myself, but... Some streamers feel like they need to be, which I'm very sure if I was a, if I was a bit more hype, I had that more hype. Like I do have my moments, but if I was constant hype, I'm pretty sure that I'd have a lot more people interested in watching me a lot more. But that's fake. I don't like to be fake. I like to be myself. I like to be real. I like to be who I am. Some people don't like the hype. But I feel like a lot more people do like hype. But yeah, as you say, each to their own. I can't make everyone happy. Some people prefer to see someone who's always hype. Some people like to see people that are, are more chilled. I'd say I'm more chilled, but if I get a good fish on there, you'll definitely see my hype for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some people prefer chilled people, some people don't. Just the way it is. How'd you get from 40 to 59 in 15 days? That's really good, man. <laughs> it's good to hear. That's good. That's what I always try and show, like, not just through the live streams, but obviously showing through different videos of missions and, and whatever. I do, I do try and... I try and be myself. Some people like it. There's definitely some that don't. But the main thing I try and show for the reason why I like to stream this game so much is because there's lots of fishermen out there in real life who love to play this game and they just can't catch because they don't understand the way the game the game runs. But once you learn the game, this game is really enjoyable.
It is really good. Thanks to YouTubers like you. <clears throat> yeah, top three fish and planet content producer. Okay. Who's the other two? Who else? I'm interested to know. I don't actually... I, like, I know a few people who... who I wouldn't say live stream this game. I don't really know many people who live stream it. I know a few people who who make videos on it. Like I've had a few some people have mentioned some other some other people who make it and I've never heard of those. Yeah, somebody said that that guy, KP Shami, Shimino, Shimino. Yeah, I've never heard of him. I'm probably saying his name wrong. <laughs> but yeah, that guy and yeah, Zabby. I heard somebody mention him as well. I don't know him. You still Marcus from? <laughs> I learned a few more lures. Who's the guy? Oh, that. Sorry, I didn't show that long. That was unique. Unique piranha. The guys that I, well, I say the guys, the one main guy that I watch was, what was his name? It's gone, I don't even remember his name. I know as soon as I hear his voice. I can't remember his name. It doesn't have many subscribers. I wouldn't say he's really popular, but he reminds me of myself. He's just kind of... You know, he's not, he's not too high, he's just chilled. He's so chilled, and that, that's why I like him. I can't remember his name. I don't really get a chance, to be honest, to watch too many people stream, and I don't get a chance to really watch as much, even though I've got YouTube on, if I'm not, if I'm not live streaming YouTube, I've normally, you know, if I'm not live streaming, I do normally watch YouTube, but I'm not always watching it loads because uh, if I'm not live streaming, I'm then editing videos. MJ Life, first time here. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, so as much as I do like to to watch other people play live streaming stuff, it's kind of hard. When I'm live streaming myself, and if I'm not live streaming, I'm then editing, making videos. You think I'm the oh, look, you're being too kind. I think you're the only streamer though. That's pretty awesome. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Hey, Pop, how's it going? I, I did ring you, but you didn't answer. You all right? Is Dots back home now? Because I was going to make you moderator, and um, Dots was going to Dots was going to show you what to do. Because you're you're pretty much well, you are in every stream that I do. Whether it's Fishing Planet or, or other streams, you're always there, so. And as you're my dad, I know I can trust you. You don't watch live streams? I like watching other people live stream. As I say, I like watching them, but I just don't get much time because I'm always, always busy trying to make edits. You just don't watch streams just cool watching you watching you play and playing same time <laughs> loads of people do that I like that people do that when people say oh yeah I'm not playing but I'm watching you I'm like nah man play your game and watch me at the same time that's what makes it more fun yeah good thanks you are good he is all right tell him to come to your computer or to your phone I'll make you a moderator and he can show you what to do because you're in you're, you're in every stream that I do, so there you go. Your status has been updated. Anybody else who is interested in moderator, just be in the chat a lot, and always be family friendly. Never use any bad language. Just be friendly, and then <clears throat> I'll make you mod over time. The reason why I did straight away with, with Jeff, as you see his name there, the reason why I did straight away with him is he is my dad. 
you can always trust your dad. If you can't trust your dad, who could you trust? <laughs> oh, there you go. This one could be a good one. I knew that was going to be unique. I was going to say it, but I didn't want to jinx it. <clears throat> Look at that. We're up to 17 likes as well. That's not bad. Thank you, everyone. Okay, Pop. If you just comment a question mark or any letter just press enter it should come up that you're now moderator just so that way i can see if you have been it if it has been if it has gone through just comment a question mark or a letter or anything just to make sure it has if not then i can always i can do it again look how cold that juice is looks really cold on the outside. The thing that's probably making it colder is because it's so hot. It's so hot here today. It could probably be from the tap and it would probably look that cold. <laughs> I'll keep an ear and a bite alarm go off. I am going to need to jump to the next day soon though. We've got £817 in the net. We've done really, done really quick fishing this day though. 719 and 817 pound that's really good that's really fast we don't really need to stay this day much longer you know what's gonna happen That's how you pick up your rods fast. That's called pro tips. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> there we go. Now let's go to the next day. 48,000. This is what I spend my real money on. Buying bait coins. So that way we don't have to fish horrible days like this. Where it's dead slow. And I recommend you doing the same. Not spending your money. Don't spend as much money as what I do. That's silly. But if you've got bait coins, save your bait coins. For fishing those sunny days, they definitely work so much better. Now I've got plenty of shiners left. I don't know how many. Let's have a look see how many large minnows. Uh, we've got 205. That's all right. We got enough for this stream. There's no way, if I run out of those, there's absolutely no chance in the world that I would I would buy them from the shop. They are too expensive. I'd rather use something else, or I'd rather just do spinning and that is it. Or even back out of the lake and go and buy them again. There is no way I'd pay for them. They are absolute ridiculous price. <clears throat> oh, that tastes good. There we go. The first cast, we've got to hit straight away. Swim bait hash five for the win. All day. <clears throat> uh, look my chat's disappeared again it's so annoying that it does that there we go he might have comment saying but he did sorry I didn't read it man my chat disappears sometimes when I go into the main menu grab that rod quick I think it could be a smaller fish I might be able to reel it in faster oh maybe not <laughs> I take that back oh actually I don't know 
Ugh, look. Always happens at the same time. You could call that a coincidence. I would. I'm going to stick with this one, though. This one, I feel like this one could be the beast. I could be wrong, but it feels like it is. so loud in my ear. I'm going to turn it down. There we go. It's not too bad when you've got it coming out of the monitor or your surround sound. If you've got it turned down a little bit. But you've got headphones in and those rods go up like that. It, it literally deafens you. I don't know if anybody else uses headphones for this game, but I, I have to. One, so I can hear my game audio. And two, so I can hear myself. I like to hear myself just uh, so I know this stream is running smooth. <clears throat> it's so weird this one. How the bars are jumping all over the place. There's so much slacker then all of a sudden it's just like attached to the end of a ship. Look at that. I'm trying to be fast with it. You know what's going to happen as soon as they get it in. Them other rods are going to stop. Ugh, come on. This is what frustrates me a little bit. They definitely need a new bait rod. I don't know many times I've sent them a message asking for a new bait rod. Definitely need a new bait rod. 160 pound. That's not bad. Sorry I can't show it longer. Oh wow. Well. I'm very surprised that's still on. It ain't normally. Are you hot bees? Now let me see if I can, yeah, alright. Ignore that. I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. <laughs> For you guys as well, like, Sometimes the notifications, let me just plug in my wire because otherwise our battery's going to die for our music. Yeah, sometimes the notifications on YouTube does have problems pushing notifications out. Sometimes people have said they end up coming into the stream and they're like, oh, I didn't realise you was live. Sometimes YouTube don't always push my notifications out. So... I always, every time I go live, I always put a tweet out on Twitter. And I do on Instagram as well, so if you if you want you can follow me on either one just in case you don't ever get the notification for new updates on this game and obviously me showing other new games as well. So if you are interested in that, every now and again YouTube doesn't push out the notification or it, sometimes it does. My internet goes a little bit funny and I start up a stream and it says that it, the stream weren't published and then they cancel it restart it because i've cancel it and restart it quite a few times when i finally do go live it then don't push the notification out because it's done it it's already done it it only lets you push two notifications a day for youtube so you can always follow us on instagram or on twitter the twitter is bubbles underscore my way and the the instagram is yt bubbles way Again, you don't have to follow on there, but if you really do not want to miss any stream at all, you're better off following us on at least one of those to make sure that you definitely don't. YouTube does have a problem with those notifications sometimes. Not just YouTube, as I said. 
sometimes my internet acts a little bit funny. Oh, there we go. Not very much cash, but it's still another unique. And I need to start, I definitely do need to get more uniques on PC as well, because on PS4, I've got more uniques on PS4 than what I have on PS5, uh, PS5? No, we don't, we don't have PS5 just yet. <laughs> That's what one, hour, one and a half hours sleep does, you just can't, your brain ain't doing it. Yeah, I got more uniques on PS4 compared to what I have on Steam. I don't know how many I've actually got, but I know I've definitely got more. Yeah, I definitely got a lot more. So we got 534 uniques on Steam. And on, on PS4, I think I got like 1,000... 1,000 and something, I think. Yeah, I did say that to him. I said to him, I made him a mod. I clicked mod. I said to him, just type a question mark. Or type any letter in chat to make sure that he did get accepted for the mod. If he didn't, and then I'll redo it. I did say that to him. Just get him to type anything to make sure it comes up. And if it doesn't, I'll redo it. I did say it. I don't know if he heard or whether he disappeared or what. Thanks for coming back, Pulse. There you go. Yeah, he is. He is now mod. So show him... If he clicks on somebody, show him that he can time somebody out. If somebody ever puts any bad language, tell him to time him out. If it happens again for the second time, just instantly block him. Just go to remove from this channel. And if somebody ever writes something that isn't in English, um... I will tell it, just remove the comment, but don't put them in timeout or anything. Remove the comment if somebody doesn't... Let me turn that down, it's so loud, I can't even hear myself talk. Yeah, if uh, if somebody writes something and it isn't in English, just go to remove the comment. Don't bother to time them out. Don't bother to remove them from the channel. If so, they write something in English, and then... Um, yeah, just remove the comment, and then me, myself, I will tell them English only. And if they then don't do English and then just completely remove them and that might sound a bit harsh to some of you guys but I only understand English and I don't have time to translate all different language if I allow one person to do a different language everybody's gonna do it it's nothing personal it's just I, I speak English and I struggle with English so I definitely can't do any other language <laughs> because of that yeah it's just because I want to keep it all family friendly. That's it. It's nothing personal against any culture or any other language or anything like that. It's just because I, don't, I never want any bad language there. So if somebody writes different language, I tell them English only. And if they then write something else different language, their comment gets removed. And then they get removed from the channel. It's not personal. It's just family friendly. That's it. And you know what? The same goes for you, Dots. You're now in timeout. Just because you're my brother, don't don't give you the right to do that. I'm not joking. I'm being deadly serious, man. I don't allow anybody other than English. In the 300 second timeout, man. I'm not joking. If I allow one person to do it, everybody does it. I'm deadly serious. My eye keeps twitching. <clears throat> well, looks like it's slowing down a little bit. So I'm going to put another rod out there. I know you was only joking, Dots, but I can't allow you to... I can't even allow you to do that, man. I know you was joking, but... If I allow one person to do it, everybody will do it.
Oh, come on, I work with me. <laughs> I need my eye to work with me. Butterfly peacock. I always catch the butterfly peacock as unique on the spinner. I don't seem to get it on the bait as unique. I think if I put a bigger hook on there, possibly I could. I don't know. I've not tried. But that's because I always manage to get it on this on this swim bait, sir. This one I don't think's too big. Maybe fifty odd pounds, sixty pounds. Trying to be quick so I can get the other one. Oh come on, don't fight me on that last little bit. Oh wow, I would have never ever have thought that was more than 60 pounds. 129 pounds? That's quite surprising. Oh. Hate when the game does that. It's the only thing that frustrates me about this game. There's nothing else that annoys me more than that. Literally nothing. It happens too often. Okay, this one's not a big one. But it's still cash. Look at that, a four, four, four and a half pound fish and we get a thousand cash. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. I'll take that all day long. For a six pound, we get nearly one and a half thousand cash. That's not bad either. Definitely puts a lot of wear on your gear being in this place. It's worth it though, the amount of money you get. How much cash have we got now? Let's have a look. Oh wow. We got a lot. One million two hundred and two thousand. that's good <laughs> that's good that equals more new content and that equals new updates easy done I could burn that cash so easy though it's nice having that much cash but I could burn it so quick if I made mmm I could probably make four five videos maybe five at the most I could make five videos with that and that cash would burn. Very easy for me to spend it. <clears throat> Takes a lot longer to collect it, that's for sure. But very quick you can burn it. I thought I was going to end up getting snagged with something, but it come out of it, so that was alright. <clears throat> I'm literally losing my voice. There we go. Oh wow, okay, this one could be a good one. If it's not Arapaima, then it's unique. I don't think, okay, it's not. This one's unique. You can always tell. Again, though, that's. Like, it's not a massive fish, but for an £11 fish to get nearly 3,000 cash, that's not bad. That's pretty good. And again, it means that we're stacking up our overall unique fish. i got to overtake the PS4. i got to. Just because them updates always come out more. Them updates come out before. On the PC, they come out before. They do on console. I was serious, man. Now you know I'm serious. 
You don't get a pass just because just just because you're my brother. That, that don't give you any pass. I, I'm serious, man. If I allow one person to to do it, everybody would do it. <clears throat> There's not one rule for you and different rules for someone else. Everyone gets the same rule. I don't think that one's very big. It's not, it's not going crazy. So did you, did you show him what to click? Show people, did you show him how to time people out? And show him how to remove people? Did you show him that? Oh, almost picked up the wrong rod there. Wouldn't have mattered too much, but. Uh, so you showed him how to time out. You showed him how to completely remove people and block them from the channel completely. You, show, you Did you show him both? <clears throat> Alright, nice one. As a moderator, there is many things you can do. And that's why I don't just make anyone a moderator. You have to be kind of picky because they can change the name of your stream title. They could put they could put something very inappropriate. <laughs> they can change the stream title. They can they can edit a lot of different things and change a lot of things around, so all of that kind of stuff I will show him at another point. But then I don't really think he, ever, he, ever, he would ever... I don't think he'd ever need to change the stream title, to be honest. I could always change that myself. But yeah, as, as a moderator, there's many things you can do. You'd be surprised how much power that can give you. Alright, uh, catch you later, Dots. But you can choose, you can pick and choose what moderators can and can't do. That's another thing you can do. I feel like this day is maybe a little bit slower. It's not bad, we got 502 pounds in the net, just over an hour in, so... I don't think we're going to have as much in our net as what we did within another hour from now though depends on if we get that really big fish if we get that really big one then we could, we could beat it I think the horrible part is when you buy loads of loads of large minnows. It's nice having loads of them, but it really really takes a massive chunk out of your out of your out of your cash. It really makes a big difference. It's nice when you've got a good amount of cash and you got a lot of those minnows. I think it does help that I've started buying shiners as well though. Because normally when I go for these, I always use the large minnows and nothing else. But now, now I use shiners and I use large minnows. I use I use two on each rod. Which definitely does make a, a little bit different in your cash flow. It means that your cash ain't getting burned as quick. It means that you don't use as many large minnows as well. So it's probably a good idea to use both. Even if you do have a lot of cash. Like now, I, I, would, I wouldn't say I got lows, but I've got a good amount of cash right now. So I could actually just use large minnows on all of them. But the reason why I don't is because to repair your stuff as well, 
repairing your stuff is is crazy expensive before repairing gear has cost cost me over a hundred thousand cash just to repair stuff after fishing this place if I fish here have a good grind out get loads of fish it's a little bit ridiculous on how much it costs to repair stuff it's not too bad when you got a lot of money but if you're low on your cash and then you come out of here and then it costs you like a hundred thousand to repair stuff yeah there's a little bit of a kick in the in the uh, in the knees <laughs> it really is We missed it. So I'm gonna fish somewhere else tomorrow. We're not gonna be fishing here to tomorrow. And um, the reason why, as I've mentioned a few times, I don't want to keep fishing the same lake over and over. I did today just because I want to get that grind of more cash. I wanted to make the most of the premium, but I try not to fish the same the same lake every day, unless it's a new lake that drops. If a new lake that drops, so then obviously there's going to be a lot of content on the new lake. But other than that, I like to keep trying to fish different places to not only give other people a chance to fish with us, but I don't want to keep showing the same thing. That's not good content showing the same thing over and over. And I'm pretty sure you guys would get bored of it as well. It's okay for those people who's never been to this lake and they want to see it. It's okay for those, but for those who are already the same level as me, who already fish this place a lot, it's not something you want to see. Keep fishing the same place all the time. 55 pound. Just trying to be quick so I can get this one. Yeah, so there's that. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave three rods out rather than four just so that way hopefully they don't go off as much or well, there isn't as many lines in the water just so I can try use the swim bait a little bit more I missed that I was looking at my dog is that a good enough excuse it is the truth though <laughs> I was looking at my dog not the game I missed it again. Wow. Thanks for everyone who's dropped a like on the stream as well. I appreciate you guys. We're definitely getting a lot more likes on the streams of Fishing Planet. That's awesome. I thought you guys might have got a little bit bored of it by now, but... Looks like you haven't, so that's good. There we go. There's another piranha added to our list. Perfect. Another unique. I want to. I'm, I'm definitely going to try it and over overtake the PS4. I really want to do that. I think if I went to Weeping Willow straight for for seven days real time, I could easily overtake that. I could easily overtake the, the uniques of PS4, no problem. You do get a good amount of uniques in one day in this place, but 
I feel like you definitely get a lot more, a ton more in Weeping Willow. But they keep on nerfing things and don't tell us about it. <laughs> and then maybe not. Alright, 630 in the net. Not bad. I think that other guy come back, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I don't think he's fishing, though. This is literally the best, the very best hotspot in Maku. You can't get a better, better place than this. It really is. It really is all over, literally anywhere around this area. Anywhere near those lily pads. Definitely the best spot. I feel like a lot of other people agree as well. Not just my opinion. I made a video on showing this best hot spot. I think it's got like three and a half thousand views. And a lot of people dropped a like on that on that video, so I'm, I'm guessing that they do agree and it is a really good hot spot. You get some friends of quests shortly. That's because I told some people to check it out. That's cool, man. No worries. Uh, I, I appreciate that you've done that. £60. I wonder if it still does that thing on the leaderboard. Like, once you get on the leaderboard of catching the biggest fish, it doesn't stay there permanently. It disappears after 24 hours. I wonder if it still does that. Let's have a look. Let's see. I was 17th place, I think. Okay. No, it's not. Oh, no. I've got the wrong thing. Oh, wow. Press the right button, Bubbles. Okay, no, it, it does. Maybe it does stay a bit longer. But people have overtaken me, though. I'm 20 seconds. That's all right. I don't mind. That's, that's cool. Normally it only lasts 24 hours and it takes you off. Maybe they might have changed it. Possibly. I feel like I could definitely get that. The biggest is what, 220? I'm pretty sure I could get 220. I'm very sure I could. If I only fished for them and didn't fish other lakes, but yeah, I don't, I don't feel like it's a, a really important thing to have to try and catch the most biggest fish I possibly can. I don't feel like that's a, a very, very important. A lot of people, a lot of people do say that though. <laughs> if they have if new people that come into the stream, the first thing they say is, "What's your biggest fish?" I don't know why that's even, even important even important I expect people to come in and say how many fish have you caught overall I feel like that's important because if you've caught a lot of fish overall well then it obviously shows that you're good at catching fish I feel like that's an important thing biggest fish I don't really think that's very important to be honest in my opinion anyway Oh man, that, that keeps biting, it's not taking it. Come on. Is it going to come back for it? I don't feel like it's going to now. They did it a few times. No, it's not. It changed its mind. <clears throat> I 
I don't mind that these bait rods are not going off. I don't mind that. I'm messing around with this at the minute. And I keep getting hits on this, but I'm just going to strike it right. Ah, oh, come on, hunt. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Sometimes you can hook them so easy. Did it again. It did it again. Sometimes you can catch them really easy, and then sometimes they're 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 a little bit. I don't know, cranky is the word, I don't even know the word, but sometimes you can hook them really easy then, that's the third time, and other times it can be like that, you, you, you strike and it just don't work, it just don't happen, it don't happen, so silly, it's so silly it does that. There we go. <clears throat> Struggling with hooking fish on your popper. I watch your tarping for it. That is struggling hooking them. When you the secret is to that is when the when you see the blue bars light up on the bottom for it to take it. I made my own rule. Do a three second count. Count to three seconds in your head. And then hit strike. If you try and strike straight away, it don't work. You'll lose it 99% of the time. You would lose it. Count three seconds and then strike. Three second rule. I made that up myself and it works awesome. Try that, man. It might help you. Try a different lure. I could do, yeah. That swim bait is the best one, but I could try a different one. Sometimes I just let them hit it when I see them wait here. Sometimes you can. There is all different ways to do it. I feel like the three second count is probably the best one though. The three second count works really good. I'll give it a shot. Wish you luck Chris man. Just count three seconds. Don't do it fast. Just like one, two, three, strike. That's literally how I do it. And that seems to work good. Hey, Bubbly. Sorry I'm late. That's alright, man. Better late than never. Thanks for dropping by. Look at that. We're not doing, we're not doing too bad on this stream, guys. we got 20 likes. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for showing your love. That's how you show your love. Just by hitting... Hitting that button, making it turn blue. I say that's free strip, uh, free second rule. Good, then I hit strike straight away. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I'm going to need a jump to the next day soon though. We've almost filled our net for this day. It's not showing up fish again. Why is it not showing up? There we go. That should fix it. No, that still didn't fix it. Oh, uh, is it because... Oh, there you go. It could have been because of that. There you go. <clears throat> oh, we got 21 likes now. That's nice. That's awesome.
I like I, I just like to see it there just because I know that you you are still enjoying the stream even though it seems like we're kind of doing the same stream every day we are fishing different places to try and show different stuff rather than the same thing I should have really jumped there next day rather than casting those rods out again we got like nearly 760 in the net there yeah I told you man works really good I'm glad you caught it well done <laughs> that three seconds makes a big difference it really does that three second count I had the same problem when blue crab first come out I was using that that popper and every time I kept striking it just I kept missing it kept missing it I mean, it's driving me crazy and then one time I I didn't strike it straight away I thought I'm going to wait a little bit and if I lose it I lose it I wondered why that cast strange that was my spin rod that's why yeah, I thought I'd wait a little bit longer rather than striking straight away. And it seemed like that's what did the trick. Got to do that every now and again. Try different things and it works better. I do that normally with the fishing rods as well, with the bait rods. When they start beeping, instead of grabbing them straight away, that can make you lose a fish. Wait a few seconds until it proper runs like crazy. And then pick it up. Just by being that little bit more patient, waiting that extra few seconds, makes a whole difference. We're gonna have to need, we're gonna have to jump to the next day. There's not really much point me fishing any longer for that day. We got 772 in the net. You're off to work. <laughs> Enjoy your day, man. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, my eye keeps on going funny. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like my eyes flickering. I don't know if you can see it. But my eyes water in it, it keeps flickering. Always that left eye, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh wow, the game's gonna rip some gold coins and cash off me right now. There we go, we finally got there. Now every now and again I do fish those cloudy days, sometimes them sunny cloudy days, I do. But it's just not, it's not possible for me to do it whilst being live, it really isn't. It will be such a slow pace of catching fish. It stresses me out. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest it does it don't matter what lake you go in you should not have to wait long to catch a fish and if you're if you're waiting long you're doing something wrong and that's not me saying that you're bad at the game but if you're waiting too long then something ain't right and that could be that could be time that could be location that could be hook that could be bait it would always be one of those and most of the time it's not time if that makes sense <laughs> yeah most of the time it isn't to do with time because you can fish from 5 a.m. and it doesn't matter if you're at the the peak point or not you start at 5 a.m. you should you should catch as long as you're in the right right place it does also depend on what fish as well because some fish only do do only take at certain times like for example if you're if you're in Michigan going for the unique catfish that is night you can catch them in the daytime but it's very very hard very slow going it's not impossible but it won't be a very good experience that's for sure but if you do it if you do it at the night it works better that's why sometimes time can make a big difference in your gameplay. I'm 
trying to speed reel this now. Just because them other ones are going up. Try and get it closer. There we go. It does look a little bit bonkers when I do it like that, I've got to be honest. But no, I wouldn't do that in real life. This is a game. I would never do that in real life. I've got to move away from that. Oh, I could actually just turn it down. There we go, like that. Perfect. I love having that mic closer. For the fact that I can just adjust that audio from my headphones that, that easy. Whereas if normally I'd be reaching up like that. <laughs> so much easier. Made a good choice. Look at that crock there. I'm not sure with this one. I, I really don't. I really don't know. I don't know whether to say whether it's a big fish or a small fish. I really don't know. Hard to tell between the difference sometimes. Sometimes that could be that really big massive fish, and other times it's it's not. I've been fighting it for a short minute though, so that tells me it could be a good size. But then when it reels in like that, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. It weren't. 81 pound. Still cash though. <clears throat> Silver croaker. Do get a few of those here. Not so much all the time. Uh, where I'm casting there a little bit more to the to the left and you can get them a lot quicker so uh, I'm gonna be dropping a video tonight What's the time now? It's nearly five o'clock my time, so mm. so about six p.m. So yeah, about six p.m. Depends if I'm streaming longer. If I'm streaming a bit longer, and then could be later than that. We'll see what time I get off. But just before I before I end the stream, I let you guys know what what time I'm gonna drop that video. The YouTube grind is real. Live streaming every day. Dropping videos every day. We got snagged with something. Probably that pistol again, I would have thought. Ah, oh, shell this time, okay. Look how good that swim bait looks. <clears throat> wow, this seems a bit slower today. If you want it to speed up, and you want to catch faster, just say that. Just say that and it works every time. <laughs> it works every time. There's a shellfish. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you, Dan, before. I might have done. Possibly, I don't know. We've had a lot of new people coming into the stream. But if you've never been here before, welcome, man. If it's your first time. That's gone, isn't it? Of course it's gone. This one's going to be gone when I pick this one up. There we go. No, it ain't. The 
Simma Vids. Have you come into a live stream before? Yeah, Sturgeon are pretty good. I like I like to catch Sturgeon as well. But as well as as well as the cash people like I stream all different places. Every time I stream I always try and stream somewhere different, but I feel like a lot of people a lot of people always want to see the, this new lake. As well as a cash grind, a lot of people like sit a lot of people always say to me, Come fish Maku. So that's why I'm here, but each day we stream, I try and stream somewhere different. And that three second lure trick, do you keep reeling or do you stop for three seconds? I missed a lot of bites at Blue Crab. So as what you do is you fish. As soon as the as soon as the fish takes your popper, as soon as you see the blue bars, you don't press nothing. Don't press anything. Wait three seconds. Count three seconds in your head. And then click strike. That works every time, man. Well, at least 99% of the time, it'll work a lot more than just trying to strike straight away. That's for sure. I'm not sure if I spoke. I don't think I've seen you before, but welcome anyway, man. Thanks for dropping by. How's it going, clicks? Thanks for coming back again, man. Yeah, I've heard a lot of rumours. Nothing, I can't say that there is until I hear it from a developer. I always try and tell new, new, tell everybody about new updates and what's coming, that kind of thing. But they obviously show those new updates straight away. But until I hear that information from a developer, is all I can say is gossip at the minute. There's nothing solid ground. There's, there's not a developer that's actually said anything, but... Yeah, I finally got the uh, the new face cam again. My other one, I ripped the USB off by mistake. We had um, we had two donations from from Peter. I had a donation from my brother, and then I lent a bit of cash, and then I've managed to get the face cam again. It turned up early hours this morning. I would have got a face cam anyway, even without the donations, but I wouldn't have been able to get it until the end of this month. Whereas if then people who donated have helped me to get it that little bit faster, which is awesome. Oh yeah, you can click on the live button and it should bring you up to up to the point, so you ain't thirty seconds behind. You have South America. I haven't seen any developers say anything until I see a developer say it. There's there's a one there's one developer that I always follow, and I always keep an eye on his page. And he's never ever been wrong. Every time he said there's been an update, he's been a, he's been a man of his word. He's never ever let me down. So I never say there's any updates until I hear it from him. And he's always. He's always told me instantly. Well, not you know, like it's not like he specifically sends me a message or something. I just check his page every day. That's it. I check his page every day, and as soon as he says there's an update, there is an update. That's how I've always managed to show the updates insanely fast before everyone else. He's an awesome guy. I would say his name, but I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. I really don't know. I probably could, but I'm not going to. 22 likes. Uh, shows 21 of mine. But that's still really good, though. It shows good support. Yeah, one of my family members helped me out as well, yeah. Big man, he, he always gives me that information on new updates on games and stuff as well. He doesn't really, if I'm honest, 
Like he gives me updates about all new games that come out for PC and for and for the the console, but he doesn't really give me any updates for Fishing Planet because he doesn't really he doesn't really like it. He doesn't like Fishing Planet. So anytime there's updates for Fishing Planet, that's me that's me searching that myself. He'll tell me updates about all all games, but just not this game. He don't like fishing games. I keep trying to convince him to play it. <laughs> I keep trying to convince him, but he won't have it. He won't do it. But you know what? As well as developers, sometimes my dad, he, he has a little look around as well. And even, even he, a couple of times he's told me before I've found it myself. He's told me about an update before as well. And I said to him, how do you know? And he said, that developer guy that you follow, I've been looking around. And, um, yeah. So, not only, not only, obviously, I'm looking myself for new updates when they come out, but also my dad's given me a few tips before telling me that, the update, that there's an update there. So, it's pretty handy. My dad always keeps an eye out for him as well because he likes this game. 22, because you like it. Yo, what's up? How's it going, Jake? Thanks for coming to join us, man. Don't think I've ever seen you before. Oh, it's really going to fight me on this last little bit, isn't it? It's going to fight like crazy. Yeah, it is. Okay. Be that. There we go. Yeah, of course it's going to time out. I tried to rush that as well. 139 pounds. so annoying when it does that I really try and rush as quick as I can to get that next fish and it don't work it really don't such a pain well the one good thing is it feels like it's getting a little bit cooler now it's nowhere near as hot as what it was when I very first started this stream. <clears throat> Always seems like it gets that little bit cooler in the evening. How do I cast so far? I'm having those muscles, man. <laughs> um, putting on that heavy weight, man. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Yeah, uh, I haven't had much sleep, man. So ignore, ignore me sometimes. I'm a little silly. But I think I've got a five, five weight on there. I released that fish. I don't know why I did that either. Yeah, put a heavy duty weight on. And uh, you get more distance. How's it going, Bob? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Welcome to the channel, man. Do you know where all the hotspots are in Maku? Well, I know all the hotspots that I've found myself, yeah. There might be, obviously, other hotspots what other people have said, but I don't bother to watch other people's videos for hotspots. I, I make my own. I'll make my own hot spots. There's quite a lot in this lake though, if I'm honest. So they're not they're not really that hard to they're not really that hard to find. There is a lot a lot of hot spots. This lake is probably the one lake with the most hot spots that I've ever come across, if I'm honest. There's a lot. Uh, I'm uh, it, it does show that it might look like I'm on Xbox because when I go into the menu it says RB and stuff, but that's because I'm using a controller. I play on PS4 and I play on PC. I've got two accounts, but at the moment I'm playing on PC. What's the biggest fort fish that I fought? You must, you definitely got to be new, Jake. My biggest fish, I made a video on it 219 pounds and a half, Arapaima. I 
I think I probably was one of the first to post this spot because when the updates come out, obviously I try and show them as fast as I can. So, you know, when the update comes out and it's being live, if I find a hotspot and I'm showing that, everyone's going to share that with everyone. But I think I was probably one of the first to make a video on it. I'm pretty sure I was. I could be wrong. No one on the island very close to me. Yeah, there is an insane amount, man. There is so many hot spots in this lake. I don't think it's... Like, even if you come into this lake and you didn't know where a hot spot was, I don't think you'd have much of a problem trying to catch fish, if I'm honest. You probably wouldn't catch that really big one if you was going for that. You'd obviously have to find the Arapaima spot but apart from that you can yeah you can get them insanely quick two hundred and nineteen pound a few days ago nice if you need any markers I don't need any markers but thanks anyway Ben but if you was talking to other people that's nice that you suggest that I don't think that's a, I think that's a small one on there so I could quickly bring that in before the other one yeah, I can. Just using a sonar. It does, yeah. I, I never do that, though, but that is a good idea. You can always jump on your boat and look around to find the fish that way. But anytime, I, anytime there's new updates and they show a new map, I get into, the, I get into it. I, sh I drive around on the boat. If you're able to use a boat on that new lake, which most of these new ones you are. But the way I find the hotspots is very, very simple. I get on the boat, I drive around to show you guys the new lake. So you can see everything that's new. And you can see all different spots that you're able to fish off. But for me to find that hotspot, I don't use the Sono on any boat at all. I've ne I don't think I've ever done that. I don't even think I've ever thought of that until you've said it. Which is a very good tip. But yeah, the way I find those hotspots is... Try and think like a fish. That might sound kind of crazy to say, but you know, if you because I fish in real life, I know some of those things. And one of the main things that fish like to do is hide out near rocks, hide out near lily pads, hide out near somewhere for them to take cover, you know. And that's how I always managed to find. I knew that this was going to be an amazing hotspot for many reasons. One, because you're able to fish off of this place that I'm standing on. That's one clue. But most important of all is these bits of wood sticking out the water. That's what I always say to everybody. That's my biggest tip that you could possibly ever get. If you see bits of wood sticking out the water, there's going to be fish there. If you see loads of lily pads, there's going to be fish there. But if you see lily pads and you see bits of wood together, that's going to be your very best hot spot. You couldn't beat it. That is the very best. That's the way I've always done it. And that works really good. That works insanely well. It goes to show. This one is special because it has a rod. Yeah, exactly. You could fish off the boat. But by having... For you to be able to stand off here. And you can put more rods out. Obviously you can catch a lot faster. So yeah, this one is a little bit more... This hotspot is definitely a lot more special for sure. You're on Xbox? I don't do Xbox, man. I keep thinking about it. But I just don't want to start a count again. I've started this game four times from the very beginning. And it's a long grind. It is a long grind. I maxed out level three times over. talking to others I thought so Ben <laughs> it's nice that you offered others though okay back to fishing a lot of people do that to try and do that to me as well when new updates come out and they go in the lake and they catch a fish they try offering me try offering me certain spots I will always try that spot but I don't really bother with accepting markers or anything if I'm honest I, yeah, I just don't really care about them. I don't care about setting a marker. I like to try and find it myself. That's what makes it good fun. And if I can find something myself, and then share that with 
with the world before somebody else does. That makes me happy. When new updates come out, I don't sleep for it for a while. <laughs> I don't sleep for a while just to try and bring not only that good content, but to try and show you, show you before someone else can show you. I, I use all different stuff, man. I don't just use swim bait. I, I try everything. I don't really so much try... I don't really do things like trying new things when I'm live. The only way I try new th different things is... If it was a new mapper, then obviously I'd be trying all different stuff. But other than that, I, st I try all different things, see which works best. And once I've found something that works really good, I stick to that. I stick to using that so that way I can share that with other people I try and share that with other people to say okay this this works really good use it yourself but if I'm gonna try things the only way I would try it is if it was on a new lake and I've never fished there before that's the only time I try new stuff or well, unless somebody suggests something and then and they want to see me try it and then maybe I might well, most of the time I do. Not, not I might. This one's good. We ain't done bad though. We've done 10 days here. And we've earned some serious money. And we've gained some more uniques as well, which is good. Just a little baby one there. Coming up saying low internet connection. Don't give me that problem again. I had that problem yesterday. Piranha. So normally by about 7am, 7, 7 I keep getting close to either £700 in the net or just over, which that is a good day. That's pretty fast going. That is pretty fast. Just as time goes on, you can still catch them, but it definitely slows down. That's the only bad thing. I don't mind though in some way when it does slow down because when it does it gives me a chance to get more of those uniques on this swim bait. I keep trying the other swim bait, the, the six hook. It does work but I think the, this one, the hash five, I feel like this one works better in this place. Oh, if it isn't, it's, you can almost, not quite, but you can almost catch a fish on every cast, almost. Not every time, but you can't. You can't. It's pretty. It's pretty close to every time. Out of ten casts, eight, eight or nine times you will catch. The only thing that could make it less than that is when you strike and you don't strike at the right time. That's the only thing, which I do do that a lot, and that's just generally because I'm not always paying attention. I meant to hit strike and I end up doing it too late. It's going to make me look like I'm lying now, isn't it? <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh no, I did. There you go. That awkward moment of silence waiting for it. That could be unique. Yeah, it is. There we go. That's why it's good messing around with that swim bait. Works awesome in this place. As long as you know where to use it, uh, then it works awesome.
I really want them to hurry up and drop the uh, Polaroid glasses update. I feel like that's been there for a long time. And yet they still haven't dropped it yet. It's definitely been there for a short minute. I feel like that could be the next update, that one. <clears throat> there we go, it's refresh. We got 22 likes throughout this stream, so thanks for everyone's support. Got a teeth on that thing. Scary. You wouldn't like to fish in. You wouldn't fish. You wouldn't like to swim in them waters, would you? Definitely not. At least I wouldn't, anyway. Not just because of those, but there's also piranha. So <laughs> that's another reason why I wouldn't want to. For me though, I don't really need to worry about fish like that. I don't have fish like that here. Not where I live anyway. I have tried this swim bait as well in other, in other lakes. In some lakes, it's better than others. It does work alright. I was trying to use it in Sand Delta quite a bit. Let's see if I could try and hook up some bass, but... I didn't have much luck. I might try it again at some point. I like trying to use some of those new baits in other places and see see how well it works. For the fact it works so good in here. Oh my gosh, wow. I thought I saw a ghost. It's been so long, man. I've even, I even spoke to my dad. I, I swear I'm not lying. I spoke to my dad. Uh, I think it was last week. I said to him, remember that guy, Error, we used to play with? He said, yeah, how is he? I said, I don't know. I haven't heard from him. I haven't, he hasn't come in chat for a, such a long time. We haven't fished with him for such a long time. I'm so glad you dropped by, man. How, how's things? Are you good? Honestly, I did think about it because you used to play with us a lot, man. You used to be in a lot of our streams. I'm so glad you dropped by, man. I hope I hope everything's good for you, and I hope you're in a better place now compared to the last time I spoke to you. Come on. So we're at seven o'clock, as I said. We normally have around about. Why did I strike there? I should have waited. We normally have around about 700 pounds in the net, and we got 692. I said just under or just over. We'll have one more cast for this. One more, and then we're going to go to the next spot. Uh, not next spot, we're going to go to the next day, I mean. You have? <clears throat> Alright man, well, I remember you saying about that before, but I'm so glad that you dropped by man. I have been thinking about you honestly. As I said, the amount of times you was in so many streams man. You was in so many streams. Yeah, then you just kind of disappeared. Again, I understand why I get I get your, you know, you don't, don't obviously, yeah, don't go in detail and stuff, but I'm so glad you dropped by man. It's, it's really good to hear from you. It is good. But yeah, anytime you're ready, I'm always here. I ain't going anywhere. I'm still here every day. On that fishing grind. 
waiting for those new updates to drop to give me more content to show new people and pull more subscribers. That's the plan anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the next day after this after I reel this one in too slow. It shouldn't take that long. <clears throat> yeah, it shouldn't take that long. Definitely not. Don't know, man. No idea. I haven't got a clue. <clears throat> I, I probably haven't spoke to you. I definitely haven't spoke to you for the longest. But I haven't spoke to him for a long, long time as well. I don't know how he is. I have no idea. Not a clue. I dropped him a message. Never heard anything back. Everyone's too busy in life, man. <laughs> Everyone's too busy. I keep trying to... Like, I did start streaming all different times. and I think, I, I think now I kind of got a good streaming time set out. Sometimes I did it in the morning. Early morning was good. We had a lot of people watching. I did it late at night. I did it afternoon. And I feel like... Like, I, I try my best to try and get everyone into the stream. I'm really burning gold coins in cash here. I try and get everyone into the stream. Like, what the best time is for everybody. But it's impossible for me to try and do that. Because time zones are so different for everybody. But for now... Until the kids go back to school, for now I'm like streaming from anything from 1pm to 3. That's the sort of times I'm starting. And then I'm normally streaming anything between 3 to 4 hours. But once all the kids are back at school properly, I'll probably be streaming maybe 4 or 5pm UK time. So the stream will be a little bit later than what I would normally do. Well... Yeah, probably about two or three hours difference. Could be four hours difference, something like that. It's just so hard for me to try and get everybody in. Now, I know his time zone is a slightly little bit different to mine. But I don't think there's a lot, lot of difference, if I remember rightly. I think there's only like, like two, three hours difference, if I'm correct. I could be wrong. There's not a lot in it, though. But, yeah, he just goes, yes, yeah, you know, he's got a few problems. Obviously, I'm not going to say anything because family friendly, but, yeah, he's got a few problems going on. But I haven't heard from him, though. I try and look out for him online as well, same as what I do for you on Steam. I look out for you guys online. And when I don't see someone for a while, it always makes me wonder what's going on. I'm so glad that you dropped by though, man. I really am. That's made my day alone. Look at the smile. <laughs> like an hour or two difference, yeah. I, I know, yeah, I know it's not much. I, I know he always used to join the, the morning streams though. When I used to stream late in the evening, he never really used to bother to join. So... And obviously, because I'm now doing doing it late in the afternoon, that could be why. That could be why he's not around. Oh, it's such a wet fish. Why has the game got to always do that to me, man? The channel is doing really good though. We've been we've been collecting subs every day. We're growing slowly. I'm trying to produce that different content as always. Trying to fish different places rather than always the same place. Try and keep it entertaining. You can but try. 
this is a good one. And of course it's a good one because the other rod's going off. <laughs> ah, come on. Don't fight me for 30 minutes. 'n planet if you're watching or you hear this bring us a new bait rod we need it big time I don't want to fish this f I don't want to I don't want to keep trying to catch this fish for 20 minutes I want to do it quick well I don't I don't care about doing it quick now the other rod stopped <laughs> Hello, Lim. New bottom rods would be nice. Well, for the last two updates, they've done. You know, they brought two. They brought two. Um, two spin rods. So we're definitely due a bait rod. Spin rod for the DLC for Blue Crab. Uh, DLC spin rod and a normal rod that you can actually pay for in game cash for this one, this place. And I feel like I feel like it's it's just too 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 long. I don't like fighting the fish for a long time. The only reason why I do do it is just because that's what people always want to see. That is literally the only reason why. I do it for the content. I'm happy to fish in blue crab, but then me saying that though, the last couple of times I fished there, I don't know what was going on, but it was it was it was wet fish. It weren't good, man. <laughs> it was really bad. So I think they did a little nerf that I don't know about, which they do that sneakily and don't tell anyone, which is um, yeah, it's annoying. How are you sitting there in a jumper? It's hot. I got my fan on as well. I'm not too hot. <sighs> them windows behind me there. I actually, I pulled them, pulled them really close to almost being closed, because the wind that I've got coming through that side is insane. It's blow. It was blowing the blinds all over the place. So I've actually pulled them blind. Uh, pulled those windows closed a little bit. And yeah, then I got the fan on as well, so not really that hot. Lucky you got your girlfriend for support. Yeah, man. Nothing better than having that support when you need it. As I said, I'm always here if, if you ever need a chat. Obviously, yeah, maybe not so much here because it's family friendly. But you can always drop me a message on Steam, man, anytime you want. I know what you're going through. Anytime you need a chat, you can always drop me a message on Steam. Even if it's just to talk rubbish about the most silliest thing, man. Even if it's just to talk about fishing. <laughs> Could be anything. If you ever need a chat, you can always drop me a message, man. Drop me a line. Anytime. You're not alone. Everybody has a... Uh, everyone has a problem. Today, if I'm honest... Um, I didn't really want to stream today, if I'm honest, because today is my mum's birthday. I didn't really, weren't really feeling it. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Have fun playing. All right, catch you later. Thanks for dropping by. Game, don't do that to me. Yeah, I weren't really feeling up for a stream today. It's my mum's birthday today. And uh, this year, it's been 10, 10 years since she's... Since she passed away, long time, man. It's crazy, ten years. It doesn't feel like ten years, which is a good thing. But I won't really feel in a stream today, if I was honest. But if I say I'm going to stream it, then they got to stick to what I say. Otherwise, think of, people are going to think that I'm telling porky pies, and then people ain't going to want to sit here and watch me do what I'm doing. But yeah, I woke up this morning, really weren't feeling it, but. Sometimes you gotta put on a you gotta put on a smile and just crack on and go for it, you know. 
have to. It's, it's harder than it's harder than it looks sometimes. But you just got to you just got to get on with it. What else are you supposed to do? Some brake cleaner. Yeah, a lot of people said brake cleaner or now now polish remover. Remove the pads first. Yeah, they're not too bad. Them, them new ones that I put in now. Uh, they're definitely better than the ones before. The ones before, when I pull, pull the brake, oh my god, it would squeak so, so loud. But the ones that I've got now, it squeaks a little bit, but then if I pull the brake in that little bit harder, it stops the squeak, so. Yeah. Does it? I'll give it a shot, man. I'll give it a try. I, I, I'll get some. I won't be able to just yet because uh, cash flow is a big issue. <laughs> my face cam, actually, I've only literally got my face cam back today. I brought a new gaming monitor and I brought a HDMI splitter. I was moving things around, pulled a wire and ended up ripping off my USB. Ripped off the USB off the actual wire for my face cam. But we kind enough got a donation from my brother. We got a couple of donations from Peter. And then uh, I ended up borrowing some cash as well. Because the, the, the face cam that I, that I got, I wanted exactly the same one. And it, they're not cheap. So I ended up borrowing a bit of cash as well. And then I ordered it. And it was meant to turn up yesterday, but it turned up early hours this morning. So I've literally only just got a face cam back. But I will definitely try some brake. What, what is it called? Brake disc cleaner. Yeah, I'll definitely try that. It has been an absolute pain. But them hydraulic brakes, though. Wow, amazing. First time me ever having hydraulic brakes. Works so good. Really good. But I will keep that in mind, though, to try it. A lot of people have suggested different things. Some people are saying about taking <coughs> taking the brake pads out and sand them down and stuff. But for the fact that the brake pads only cost like five pound fifty five, then I could just buy another pair, which I did do. But it's still got that little tiny squeak there. <laughs> yeah, mine definitely woke up the neighbours. It probably woke up someone on the farm and all. <laughs> It's not too bad, I guess, in some way. Like, if you're going, if you're going to go around a corner, a blind corner, and you pull that brake, you know, people definitely hear you coming around the corner, that's for sure. So, in that way, it's good. But if you're trying to make a video on riding an electric bike, and you've got brakes like sound like that, it makes people cringe. It's not, it's not, yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Especially early hours in the morning. Cool. I, that, I, I used to be like that for my, my dirt bike that I had. When I used to start that up, people, where I had my bike motorbike locked up, people used to say to me, do you have to park that thing here? And I'm, well, yeah, because I have nowhere else to park it. And they're like, do you have to start that thing in the morning? Well, yeah, obviously, yeah. I wouldn't start it for no reason. They didn't like it because it was so loud. Uh, it did annoy a few people. Sometimes, just to be nice, I'd get the bike out of the garage and <laughs> I'd take the bike around the corner or push the bike to the end of the road and start the bike at the end of the road just to be nice every now and again. Just so that way it didn't keep on annoying people. But that thing was so loud. It was good fun, but it was silly how loud it was. Car brake cleaner is what I use. Is it? Okay, I'm going to write that down. Let me get a pen. Yeah, I read it down. Thanks, man. 
I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> when I got some cash, I'll buy it. How much does it cost? Does it cost that much? <clears throat> what is, is it like a spray or is it an oil? Use ermine cloth. What? What's that? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Yeah, I saw I saw online that people were using nail polish remover, tipping it on an old bit of rag and rub it rub it over. Didn't do it. Oh, why didn't I wait? That's Russian. That's why. Oh, it's a fine sandpaper. It's still doing it though. I replaced my brake pads and put new ones in and it's still doing it. It done it with the ones before and it's doing it again now. So I don't think it's the actual brake pads. I'm pretty sure it's the disc itself. I even thought to myself once I get once once I get some more cash I might even might even change that disc. But before I change that disc as that being the last result, I will try and buy some of that brake car brake cleaner. I'll give it a spray or disc brake cleaner, whatever. I'll, I'll try that. If that don't work, last result is I do end up buying a new disc. You can get it as a spray or a liquid. Only a couple of quid. Oh, Alright, okay. I didn't think it was going to be that cheap. Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy some of that. I'll give it a shot. If that don't work, then my last result is definitely... <clears throat> is definitely replacing that disc on the back there. When I say it, I look at the bike. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try some of that disc brake cleaner. I can't do anything. I gotta stick to this rug. It's fighting too well. This one could be the big, the big one. I'm gonna have to just let them ones run off. <clears throat> yeah, somebody said that. Oil, yeah. I don't see how though, because I haven't been, I haven't been near anything with oil, and it's been like that since I brought the bike. So since I since I brought the bike brand new, unless something happened in the factory or whilst it got sent to me, that's the only thing I could possibly think of. And again, I did wipe the disc, I wiped the disc and put in new pads as well, and it still does it a little bit. Nowhere near as bad as what it did, so that's a good thing. I heard that it was um, it's not to do with oil or something like that. Again, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But I heard that you get that squeak if your disc, the disc itself on the bike, that that's not true, it's not straight. If that's not straight and it's slightly bent, that can make it squeak. That's what I heard. Again, I don't know if it's true, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I know about electrics, I don't know so much about brakes. Well, I know about brakes, but I don't know about squeaking brakes. <laughs> yeah. I'm old school, man. <clears throat> I'm used to them old V brakes, you know. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever use V brakes ever again. Not now. I've used those hydraulic brakes. Definitely not. This one is such a monster. Come on. Oh, we almost got it. I think I had a bit of buffer there, sorry about that. Wow, I thought it was going to be bigger than that. That's disappointing. 168 pounds. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, th thanks for the um, the idea as well, Frank. Frank fifty nine. I think I, I think I remember you. I don't think I've ever seen you in my stream, but I definitely remember you leaving a comment on one of the one of the uh, videos that I did. I remember you from there. Twenty eight millimeter wide tires. Nice. That bike is so much fun, man. Like, I, I've rid so many different mountain bikes throughout my life. Like, I couldn't even tell you how many. And I've tried a lot of different electric bikes. But that, as, as it goes as a mountain bike, is insane. Like, it's really, it feels really, really strong. It feels really strong, really, like, I, I don't feel... When I first got on it, obviously, you know, when you first, everybody knows that feeling. When you first get on a bike, you know, you're a bit weary at first. Whether you, you've got to learn to trust that bike. You now, your trust has got to go into that bike. My trust went into that bike within the same day, which that doesn't normally happen for me. Normally, it takes me like three or four rides before, before I really trust that bike. But yeah. I think after about an hour, I, I put full trust into that bike and took it full speed straight down this, the steepest hill that I knew. <laughs> and it was it was good fun, but it was I was scared when I got to like when I hit the brakes, I got so scared because it took me so long to slow down. I pulled the brakes as hard as I could, and it took me so long to slow down. So that's what made me ended up. From the mechanical brakes going to the hydraulic pull brakes, that's what made me change it. Because I thought to myself, if a car pulled out, there's no way I would have. Uh, there's literally no way I would have stopped in time. I would. I would have been dead. And that's what made me change my brakes. There we go. There's another unique. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought to myself, well, the mechanical pull brakes, you know, they are good. Probably on a normal bike. But on an electric bike that's heavy, plus a guy that weighs 16 stone and is six foot two, then then brakes are not 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 the best. They're definitely not good. But they are the hydraulic brakes, though. So apart from that annoying little squeak, apart from that, I would say they are the best. If I could manage to get rid of that squeak, they are the best. So I definitely am going to buy some of that brake cleaner. I give that a shot. If not, the last result is I do end up changing the the actual disc rotor. I'll end up changing that. That's that's the last result. But I keep on buying. I'm trying to upgrade some of the some of the streaming gear at the minute. So I can't I can't keep spending too much cash in my bike. I've spent a lot on it already. I paid 752 for it, and then the tires and the brakes, and I strike too quick there. Yeah, I yeah, I need to stop spending cash for a bit, or at least try to. But I will buy some of that brake cleaner as it's so cheap, and I give that a spray. And if it works, if it works, so then I'll even make a video on it, and I'll say that people in my stream helped me out. <laughs> Does it? I got some of the normal standard WD40, but yeah, I don't have, I don't have that one, the specialist one that you're on about. I definitely ain't gonna be using the standard WD40, so don't worry about that. I don't plan to kill myself, because <laughs> that would be bad. I might even have to replace the side parts of the suspension as well keep getting this horrible little creaking sound I spray a bit of WD-40 on it and it fixes it and then after a while it comes back again you get another creaking sound so that might that might be a thing that I need to replace as well which is a pain because I keep replacing parts on it I want it to remain as it is but I keep replacing things it's not going to be as it was is it
Wow, man. That's a lot. It was, it was it's not it weren't too bad before but the job that I do now is not the same as before well it is the same but they um they took my pay they gave me a massive pay cut man so I don't get paid as much as what I do anymore you would think after working for the same company for 15 years that they would give you a pay rise not not take give you less money but yeah I can't really talk any any more about that cuz I'm not allowed to talk about my job because I could put myself at risk of uh, getting sacked, but anyway. You just subscribed? Welcome to the channel. Alright, let me try that swim bait. I haven't been able to use it that much because these bait rods keep going off. Well, I've used it, but not as much. Not as much as I would like to. <clears throat> that suck man it really does suck I don't know why, why companies do that you work for them for so long and instead of giving you a pay rise they give you a pay cut Horrible. <clears throat> You're in the USA. Very nice. Land of the free. Oh, they're all going to go off, aren't they? There we go. There goes the other one. They all seem to be li little fish at the minute though, so that's alright. means I can bring them in quick. It's that bigger fish that takes that short minute. <clears throat> well, 6.21 we're at 6.44 so not too bad hopefully we get one more good sized fish there and then we'll jump to the next day well, in a way I would like to say yes but in another way I can't really say yes because I've never played it The thing that makes me say yes is people have spoke spoke to me about that game and not as I haven't heard anything good from it. <laughs> Other than the only one good thing I've heard from it is that you can get an insane amount of bait coins. Other than that, they they said that the the real mechanics are the old real mechanics of the game and the updates take longer to come to that that one than this one. And for the fact that you have to start a start your account from the beginning and you can't carry your account over and I've started this game four times from the beginning maxed out three times on three dip on four different accounts makes me not really up for playing it if I'm honest but yeah I can't really say it is better just because I've never played the other one but what what people have said makes me think it might not be I can't I can't really judge it though can I unless I play it myself I can't really judge it to be honest I'd say this is the best fishing game that I played though I played a lot of different fishing games I'd say this one is the best oh we got Ben who's come back I think is that Ben yeah He goes a little quiet sometimes. I wonder where he disappears to. There we go. I think that's another small one as well. 
Yeah. Yeah, quite a few of them at once though, so it helps fill the net up pretty quick. I guess that's pretty close to 700 pounds. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> we are pretty close though. 682. We can fit maybe one or two more there. Good size, and then that'd be it. We'll have to go to the next day. I weren't a big fan on that one, man. <clears throat> I think the only two that I did really, really like, which was obviously this one being number one, and then the other one that I played that I kind of liked just because you could see it from different rather than seeing like your rod there going off you could see the bait under sitting under the water and the fish go up and it snatches it which that was um, ultimate fishing simulator that was a pretty good one and the graphics on there if you max out the graphics looks pretty decent you do like ultimate fishing simulator yeah that was a good one But I, I play it, every time I play a different fishing game, always brings me back to this one because I, I play it and I just think about keep playing this every single time. I just keep thinking about playing this one every time. But I have played this for a long time. Like I played it for over four years, like close to five years. I played this game, so that that is probably why. When you play the same game for such a long time. Let me turn that audio down a little bit. There we go. So it's not deafening me too much. Yeah, it would be awesome if they did. If they add that to this game. That's one thing when I played that Ultimate Fishing Simulator. That's one thing that made me think. If they added that mechanic where you can see the fish. That mecha What was that noise? That had a weird beeping noise. Yeah, if they had a, um, that mechanic to where you can see the fish under the water, I think that would make this game pretty decent. Like, it is good anyway, but that would be so cool if you could on this game. I'd love that. £60. Pound. We got 750. We'll take one more fish, and then that will be it for this day. I don't want to overdo the net. I should actually check the durability on that net real quick. Let's have a look. Oh, it's okay. Well, we've been streaming for just over four hours, so we should have earned a serious amount. Let's have a look. Yeah, nice. One million. 282,000 by the time this day is done um, 1 million 300 and something thousand that's pretty decent um, there's a circle icon next to the icon of the fisherman at the homes screen. Are you on about you on about that circle there? You on about that one? Is that the one you on about? He's still live. Yeah, I'm still going, man. Four hours, ten minutes strong. <laughs> Thanks for coming back again, Pulse. You on about that circle there? Is that what you on about? that is you can mix up ground bait not many people know that not many people yeah not many people know that for me it is 
6 p.m. Yeah, you can mix up ground bait. You put ground bait into that slot. He holds it in his hand, throws out the ground bait. Not many people know that. I always wondered what that was until one day I figured it out. Just messing around. I wonder if I can do it. I might be able to show you real quick. Twelve in the afternoon in America. There you go. You see that? Now I've got it there. The ground bait. So when you've got the ground bait there, you come here and you can change obviously up the top there, look, hand casting. So he's got it in his hand. I really don't think many people know this. I should really show it a lot more. And then you hold it. And he throws it. Just like that. <laughs> Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And so I don't think many people know that. You can put you can put a ton of it out. I might as well just waste this now. I ain't gonna be able to use it anyway. If that helped you out, drop a like. <laughs> okay, cool. It's 11 a.m. for you. Where are you from, Pulse? I remember you saying, but I forgot, man. Okay, you can throw it 60 foot. That's not bad. It says, well, 61 foot. You can throw it up to a maximum of 65 feet. The only thing is, though, it just doesn't let you position cast, which that is a little bit of a pain. You just have to kind of randomly just kind of guess where he's going to throw it, which would probably be better to look first where he throws it. That's pretty cool though, isn't it? That is pretty cool. Some of the missions are hard. Some of them can be, yeah. Practice makes perfect, though. The more you do it, the better you become. I don't think I've ever used ground bait in this place. It probably, I don't think it would do anything, if I'm honest. Did I get a max cast on it? I think that was. That was 63 foot. Let me do a little tiny one. <laughs> it still went in the water. Let me see if I can try throw it here. See if it hits the ground so I can look at it. No, I can't see it. Now let me try here. No, it just kind of glitches through. Glitches through the floor. I was so happy when I found out about that. I did it randomly one day, messing around. Uh, you're from Utah. Okay. That's quite far away from where I'm at, for sure. It's nice when I see other people from all over the world, man. It's, it's awesome. I love that. Yeah, one more. One more. One more fish to finish this day. There we go, there it is. 
then we can collect our cash. I'm going to jump back to the main menu as well and put on that that backpack, but yet we still haven't done that. I, it literally just come to my mind then, thinking about it. That I thought maybe I might have to go out and repair my net. Maybe I might need to repair some rods. We'll do that after this fish. We, we go put on that bigger backpack that we paid 200 bait coins for. It's definitely worth it. Come on, don't fight me for 10 minutes, please. It's good, isn't it? I'm trying to be quicker than I might be able to get the other rod. Possibly. Is that? I don't know. I've never been there. Is it a nice place? Do you like it? Oh, they're all going. Which one's the biggest fish, though? I think this one. Oh, I don't know, actually. The other one's moving quite well. If I'm quick, I might be able to get that one. There we go, we got it. That don't happen often. <laughs> yes, your home feels good. Most people, when, when when I say to people, <laughs> do you like where you live? They say no. I say I say that to my to my family member, to big man. I say it to him. I say, do you, do you like living here in the UK? He says no. Nah. He always says that. Some people don't. I kind of like it. I live I live close to the beach. I don't, I don't. I couldn't really imagine me living anywhere else, if I'm honest. Mrs. Sorry has the popular lake. Alright, that's going to fill our net up. Or we'll almost fill our net up. 922. I don't want to hold that day any longer. If I do... We could end up, we could end up stretching that net, putting damage on it, and it costing us even more. I'm going to show you guys that backpack that we brought for 200 bait coins, because I still haven't applied it yet. And let's see how much money we earned throughout this stream as well in total. Uh, that was 57,000 there. Let's have a look at this cash. This was a good grind. This was definitely a good grind. <clears throat> Oh, come on. This loading's going to be slow today, isn't it? Okay, I didn't have to repair that much, but repairing that net is always expensive. Now, that's not too bad this time. 44,607. Two hundred and sixty-seven thousand. That's not bad. That's okay. Look at our cash, though. One million. Getting close to one and a half. Getting close. Okay. So we go to the home storage. We go to our backpack. Mm, where is it? There we go. So uh, this is the backpack that we brought. This one is awesome. Who was, um, it was Ara who told us about this one, said about buying this one. That it gives us more space than the one that we've got, which it actually does. He wasn't, he wasn't telling porkies. He was dead honest with that. 200 bait coins, definitely worth it. So 120 tackle, that one does uh, 100. The reels, we can't hold any in this one, but in this one we can hold three, so that's really good. And then five lines, that one's five lines as well, so it is a little bit more. Ground components, nothing 
um, ground bait components there is 20 so a little bit of a difference but still it gives us more and when we go fishing I like to try and take as many different baits and as much different stuff as I can I have a lot of cash but the game sometimes tells me that I do not have enough money for repairs that's kind of strange man maybe you need to restart your game or something I don't think my, mine's mine's never said that. The only time mine's ever said that is when I actually do need to. I need to repair that. Okay, I can't do that. Let's move it to the home storage, and then I can repair it. Uh, where did that? I don't even know where that put it. What? Okay. It helped me if I click, click the right thing. <laughs> there we go. Repair. That, that's pretty cheap to repair. That doesn't cost that much. Let's drop that back on. Alright, so that was, what was that? That was nearly a four hour and a half stream. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll be back streaming again tomorrow as normal. And I did say I was going to drop a video today at six, but obviously we ended up streaming a bit later. So I'd say between seven and eight p.m. we'll be dropping another video on the electric bike. If anyone's interested, you guys can check it out. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to like subscribe if you're new turn notifications on so you don't miss future updates on fishing planet when they finally do drop we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i'm out